Does my hat offend you? No, bro. You're good. <laughs> like you're you're straight. <laughs> Why is it sitting so high? <laughs> I just told you it don't fit on my head, man. <laughs> it don't fit on my head. <laughs> Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Kites, and I'm here with my lovely wife. It's just Alex. What's up, people? So we're back again with another Pop the Balloon reaction. Arlette dropped episode five. This time, we're going back to the ladies. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing about this content, um, this is the first type of content that we started reacting to, and you guys have been showing mad love and support, and we greatly appreciate that. We appreciate all the subscribers, the likes, the shares, the comments, especially the comments. Some of y'all, hey man, y'all don't like how we talk. It is cool. It's fun. At the end of the day, we're all adults. We can take criticism. And you know what? As long as you guys keep it respectful, whether it's a, a dislike con comment or a liking comment, we're not going to delete it. We're going to let you talk how you talk. Just don't don't be disrespectful. Now, YouTube, on, a, on the other hand, if they flag you, they flag you. Yeah, we're we not going to stop that. Yeah. yeah, some of y'all been getting flagged. Yeah. But, um, we jump back into this. We're also planning to start doing more reaction content besides this. But right now, this is just kind of like getting our feet wet. And uh, if you have any other thing that you want us to react to, we'll check it out. We'll look at it. Um, just drop it in the comments or tag us in it and we'll react to it. All right. Let's get it popping. We already started off interesting. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. This time around we have our ladies lined up. Make some noise ladies. Woo! All right, so just to kind of go over how it's going to go down today, we're going to bring out some single men one by one. When they come on out here, if you like him, if he looks good, you like the outfit, haircut, whatever it is, do not pop your balloon. But if there's anything that you're just like, oh, Lord, this man is not for me. Go ahead and pop that balloon and I'll go over to a few of y'all. See what's going on. Why ended up popping your balloon? Y'all ready? Yeah. Hey, all right, let's go. Let's go ahead and bring out our first single man. Head on over here. Hello. Welcome mm, in. What's your name? Okay. Welcome. What's, what was that? Malcolm, like Malcolm X. Okay, Malcolm, yeah. how old are you? I'm 32. 32, and what do you do? Um, I'm actually an entrepreneur. I have two businesses that I, own, that I own. I have a solutions business, and I also own a cleaning service, which I property manage for. Okay, very nice. Okay. And uh, Malcolm, what do you look for in a woman? Um, First thing I would say, first and foremost, you have to be a God-fearing woman. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like Malcolm Respect. already. Uh, but I would also say someone with accountability, someone also that is just genuinely kind. Okay. So. Okay. Cool. Malcolm right. Those, those three things are All stuff. right, well. Nice, okay. <laughs> I guess we, we already, we already sit in the top. I, this, this lineup is. Uh, they look a little like they about to show out, especially the, 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 the one with the leather boots. I've never seen boots like that before. I mean, I like, I like her fit. It's, it's cute. I like it. Yeah, I mean, she she already wasn't rock with him, but 
I hope she didn't pop because he asked for a woman that's kind. That that would be crazy, right? Mm. <laughs> well, we've seen worse, right? We've seen worse. Okay, so we did get a few balloons popped. Let's go over to these ladies, see what's going on there. You ready? Yeah, I'm interested in them. <laughs> Ma'am, if we can have your name, how old you are. Hi, my name is Fiana. I am 34. Um, and I popped my balloon mainly because of the height. Okay. Um, I do prefer someone a little bit taller just because I wear heels a lot. So that's the only reason. But you're super handsome. Well, trees get chopped down every day. So. Okay. Hey, mm -hmm. talk your talk. Talk your talk. It's okay. You're a beautiful woman. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, of course. And now, uh, Malcolm, is Faye your type? Oh, she's a beautiful woman. I actually, I do love the nose ring. Um, I'm one for aesthetics, but yeah. And the orange is lo looking good on you, but it's all love, mama. That's, Thank that's you. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we're starting off respectful. Fun. Thank you. Let's go ahead and go on down over here. All right, if we can have your name and how old you are. I'm Josette and I'm 29. And Josette, what do you do? I'm a flight attendant and a makeup artist. All right, and okay. why did you end up popping your balloon for Malcolm? Just height, that's all. I'm just, I just prefer someone who's taller than me, at least with heels, so that's it. Understood, there's a couple cool well, brothers taller in the back. He's taller than me, I'm sure you <laughs> like, so that, it works out for everybody. And now, is Josette your type? She's also a very beautiful woman. You guys, you know, I like the aesthetics as well. So I'm like, each and every one of you guys are beautiful. So I'm like, no. Okay. You know, he keeping it, it really professional. I, I like that. He rocking with it. Cool. And uh, that, okay. Oh, uh -oh. Well, let's go back over. Wait a minute. <laughs> I, I feel like some, I feel like now that this is getting popular, like the, this type of stuff, People, people want to go. <laughs> Would you do that? For? So I can see. You. Oh, take the glasses off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I feel like people, people gotta have their moments now. Like it's not about if they like to do it or not. It's it's just people gotta have their moments. Yeah. Because he just paid y'all all compliments. I don't see what the what the red flag for that was. He just said y'all beautiful. Like. Mm -hmm. She probably just got a closer. I don't know. I, we about to find I'm out. I'm not gonna make no excuses for nobody. Yeah, that's I'm a fact. I'm sure she'll give a reason. Yeah. Over Ooh, here. <laughs> all right, so I get the height one for this one too. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. Uh, if we could have your name and how old you are. I'm Sierra. I'm 27. And Sierra, what do you do? I'm a behavior therapist and wellness coach. Okay. A what? Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Your skinny jeans. Okay. What's what up them? with the skinny jeans? I don't like skinny jeans on men. Okay, okay. Yeah. I mean... Honestly, I'm not too fond of them either. They were just bone color, so it's hard to match it. I feel it. I like the fit. You know, I really <sighs> do fuck with the fit, but... Do you like what you like, so it's all good, Mom. I ain't tripping. Yeah. I do like your hair, though. Thank you. So, <laughs> give me ramen noodle vibes, but hey. I like it. Like, I mean, I've gotten song. that before. You know I got curls, so, yeah. hey. But, no, you're beautiful. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and now, is she someone that you would go for? Easily, like no, nah, she's a beautiful woman. Like I, the ramen chip was just a little bit of a joke, but like, nah, nah, I mean it's okay. Nah, cool. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go on over to our next lady here. I guess funny guys ain't your winning name no and more. Like Nucci, I'm 25. And Nucci, Nucci, what do you do? I'm a behavioral health therapist, and I also rap. Oh, okay. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon for Malcolm? Um, you're a very handsome man. I just wish like you would have got the beard a little lined up. Um. That's really it. Everything else, like the height doesn't bother me. Your outfit, you look fly. Yeah, I'm trying to figure Braves out my beard look a little off that, but. I, I know. mean, you got a little scruffs. You got a little scruffs. But, well, yeah. yeah. I mean, that was kind of. I wish I had his beard. Oh, if that's what you <laughs> like, then. Just, you know, yeah, it's no shade. It's no shade at all. It's just not what I prefer. You're right. Presentations, everybody. Yeah, my but you're very handsome. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and now I know you said all the ladies are beautiful. Is there anything in particular that you're feeling about Nucci? Um, I like her honestly, to be honest. Like she likes what she likes, so I can't disagree with that. So like why would I? I mean she's a beautiful woman. Yeah, thank so you. you're popping over like face, if you're minor stuff. Damn, Ain't nobody saying like, like pretty your face. eyebrows are too like, <laughs> arched. I don't like I don't like the <laughs> eyebrows. Don't like the <laughs> thank you, Nishi. I wanna try to be that guy, but <laughs> yeah, the thank face. you. Well, no, 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 All right, if we can like, have your name and how old you are. Everybody's popping for like details that kinda don't matter. Like it's stuff that you can easily fix. Yeah. You're very handsome and you're very attract. Hey, thank you, DDG, for this. <laughs> What's going on? 
Thank you, DDG, for the sub. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't. I don't know. But um, <laughs> are you streaming on Twitch? No, I'm not, bro. I'm just uh, recording. Bro. <laughs> hey, follow me on Twitch. But um, <laughs> I feel like people are just popping for like minor details that can easily be fixed. Like, like you don't like his skinny jeans, but he said clearly, like I, I only got these jeans because they match the jacket. It's hard to match the jacket, and his fit is clean. I don't see nothing wrong with the fit. It's a clean fit. So it's like, and then you're not liking that he has patches in his beard. He can shave. Like, you feel me? He he can easily, he, even though it looked like he got a full beard, it's his sideburns. His sideburns are uh, not they're fully not connected. connected. Yeah. But yeah, you can't control people's sideburns. Like, sideburns is hit or miss, you know? Yeah, but like I said, it's just, it's minor stuff that they're popping over that really don't mean nothing the stuff that you could easily change so it's like imagine imagine how hard like annoying that would be like you're very attractive you're kind of my type but i don't like your beard and it's like that's why you won't give me a shot is the beard like so my my height wasn't the issue my personality wasn't the issue you didn't like that i had a patch in my beard so no i just feel like uh, i feel like that's probably one excuse but after he kind of like did a subtle joke um, yeah, the they feel some type of way. They all start popping afterwards. Yeah. yeah. It's all good. I hope you find love, man. You all right? Hi, my name is Quay and I'm 31. And Quay, why did you end up? Oh, sorry, Quay, what do you do? <laughs> um, I'm a courtroom uh, operations manager. Okay. And why okay. did you end up popping your balloon? Um, it's just I like a darker s complexion. Um, just like taller, darker. Okay, so if she go for a light skinned man I'm in any sure, part of this video after that, she's a liar. Yeah, I'm the same height with my hands on. Almost is. Yeah, I think we're pretty yeah, close. I mean, with the hat on, understandable. Quay, how how tall are you? Uh, I'm five two. Five two. And how tall are you? Five ten. Okay. okay. Bro, he's taller than me. Right, so now, um, is Quay your type? Yeah, no, nah, she's dope, and the hat is. Definitely very fitting. Five, it's cool. And it's cute. And again, with the piercing, so I'm, I'm one. Five ten is still above still average cool. height. <laughs> it needs still not worth it. No. There we go. We already spoke to you, didn't we? Mm -hmm. no. Okay. <laughs> she, she All right. Her we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Jessica, and I'm 31. And Jessica, what do you do? Uh, I work in nonprofit, and I also model as well. That's awesome. Okay. okay. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, it was the comment about the ramen noodles. So I know y'all gonna call the pot the uh, kettle black, however you say it. You said but, pot during some ramen. I just wanted to let that be known, but it's cool. <laughs> no, because, I mean, she said that, you know, she didn't like guys with skinny jeans, but it was like, she didn't really serve, you know, shade. So it was like, you really kind of went. You thought I was going to shade, though? I definitely yeah, said Yeah, the beautiful. ramen I mean, noodles. This shit look like ramen a little bit, too. Like, you know, if you think about it, but it's okay. <laughs> it was like, it really won't that shade. I'm saying, like, but understood. It, but that was it. But I think you're extremely handsome. You guys much swag to you. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I dig it. You don't like so the jeans though? Either. They're popping because he said ramen noodles. Her hair looked like That's ramen noodles. I told you. I told you. That's such no, a petty yeah, reason to pop. Like, <laughs> All right. Future references to women. <laughs> and now, um, is Jessica someone that you would approach? Also a very beautiful woman. I like the earth tones on it, you know. You. Sleek with the Apple Watch on there. Like, gives me, like, nah, gives me businesswoman vibes. Like, nah, you cool. Thank you. But yeah, I don't know. I think I thought the ramen thing was kind of funny, but you know, it was. No, though. I, I chuckled for sure. As a group but of women, you're supposed to hold it down for other women, so I truly appreciate. No, you're not, girl. I'm sorry. No, you're not. You no, you're not. not. Women do not die on the hill for other women. No, you're not. Isn't That's it? why y'all ain't gonna walk out with a man, and she is. Men do not die on the hill for other men. It doesn't matter how you want to defend men's behavior. At the end of the day, you are not the majority of men. Do not die on the hill and be lonely because you want to stand up for the bros. The bros is not going to spread your legacy. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. And women, do not die single because you want to defend other women. Oh, my God. He talked about her hair. I'm popping. Yeah, that's, <laughs> he's very attractive. You, you, So you're attracted to him, but because he made a ramen noodle joke about another woman's hair, because she said she didn't like his skinny jeans, which the joke wasn't even bad. If you go to a comedy club and somebody roasts you, are you, you going to stop going to that comedy club? No. It's a joke. It's a it's, it's a it's a light like the, hearted joke. The joke the joke wasn't even that bad. I'm gonna keep it a stack. Like I every black person has heard 
way worse. Like let's 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 not even act like that was the y'all y'all brutalized the chick that uh was dissing the Chicago dude. Y'all like five hundred insults in on that girl, and I don't even know the girl, and I feel so bad, but I I can't stop y'all. So ramen noodles, come on, bro. Let's let's. He could have said anything. He really could have. He could have called. He could have talked about her height. He could have called her a hobby. He could have called her all types of stuff. No, no disrespect to her. No disrespect. But we just said an example. Saying. So I mean, if hey man, lose your bestings over small comments. That's just how you feel. You should. Right, thank you. Okay, if we can have your name and how old you are. Um, Kayla. I'm 31. And Kayla, what do you do? I work in the banking industry. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um. I think you're very handsome. I feel like we would be like really good friends. Yeah, that's cool too. Yeah. We can. You work in the, at the bank. <laughs> like we could, yeah. <laughs> we could for sure be good friends. I'm a yeah. business owner. Yeah, okay. Can, that's yeah. cool. That's, okay. that's cool, man. And I okay, said he's fine. handsome. So what made you say you can only be friends with him? Um, I guess it's just like a feeling I have. Okay. Yeah. Can I get along? <laughs> <laughs> if you got. Uh, if feeling we're about friends, that. We might we can talk about it. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm just saying like, oh, okay, that's cool. All right. No he's, he's clearly like a jokester. <laughs> and now is Kayla your type? Oh, uh, yeah, she's pretty beautiful as well. Like, you know. I love the crosses, obviously. I love the crosses, obviously. Jacket's fitting for the fit. Like, yeah, no. She's cool. She's like a beautiful woman. Thank you. Seems cool. <laughs> Friend is crazy, but it, it's, it's all good. Like, hey man, you're okay, talking too let's much. Go right now. on over here if we can have your name and how old you are. She looks I'm like Indian Reed. And Taylor, what do you do? I'm a business owner. Okay, yes. nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I'm first a of all, I think you're very really handsome as well. Yeah. What is your business? Me. You look good. Um, yeah, get the money, dollar dollar bills, y'all. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Um, you said you're five ten. I don't think you're five ten. Are you six foot? No. Oh, well. No, baby. Okay. I'm five seven, but I maybe mean, five nine. I with, mean, with the heels off, I'm. Okay. What? Five nine. Uh, you know, like I puts. can't like. No, no, you know. you're cool. Do your thing. Right, I might want to. You can put but anything. Wearing heels, you, huh? you can't act. Oh, yeah, Wait a y'all can't y'all can't assess people's height when you guys have two to four inch heels on. Your POV is going to change. Why do y'all not understand that? Y'all, y'all sit here. You know, we sit here and we watch y'all call dudes that are like five eleven short, but then you're wearing six inch heels. You don't know what you don't know what short is because you you're you're in a height di like delusion, bro. Like it, it, it's so weird. I, that's like somebody come like I'm I'm already irritated with that because it's like you don't get to say somebody's short, but then you're using something to boost your height. Like I'm almost your height, but you're wearing heels, bro. Imagine if dudes had six six inch sneakers. I'm five eight. Five, well, five, eight and a half, almost five, nine, basically. You're what, like six one? Yeah, I'm six feet on the dot. When I wear heels, I'm the same height as you. Yeah. Don't bother me. Does it bother you? No, because at the end of the day, I'm thinking about the genetics in the long term. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> six foot plus five, nine? Yeah. Our kids going to at least be like They're six, two, nine. six, three. Yeah. And then I'm going to tell my son, hey, get you a shorty that's six feet. So y'all can have a six foot five, six foot six. We gonna be in the league going stupid. If we get if we get some short kings and queens, I'm not mad. I'm gonna teach them to be the best boxers that they can ever be. Because you know short people got hands, respectfully. You look good though. Thank you. You mm -hmm. as well. Thank you. I like the Cam Newton hat. So. Oh, Cam. Oh. You gotta do me like that. <laughs> what you mean? It can't be like Alicia. No, that's a, like no, that's a, no, that's my baby. No, it is a Cam Newton hat. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. See, I'm glad I popped the balloon. Okay. It's a fedora though. Like, and tight, now bro. is she your type? No, I thought she has a good precedent about her. She like she seems like a logical woman. Like the kid, most the any woman looks like she about to pop. Like, Don't pop. You gotta agree this year. Okay. You popped over the joke, <laughs> bro. A lot of y'all women just Sensitive. live. A lot of y'all just live with y'all heart on y'all sleeves, and this is why y'all gonna be lonely forever. Okay. Shoot sure. up. My fault. My fault, gang. My Thank fault. You. I ain't Let's mean go it. Go ahead and go back over here. I ain't mean it. <laughs> you know, I should slide. Is it Cam Newton hat? What is it? Never has a sense of humor. Thank you. All right. All right. If we can have your name and how old you are. You got five. My name is Shannon Marie, and I'm thirty. I'm oh, twenty-nine. I'll be thirty soon. Okay. Yeah. And what do you do? I'm a hairstylist. All right, and why did you end up popping your balloon? 
I didn't like that petty comment. It, that was not cute. You could have said Erica Badu. You could have said anybody else, but right, Cam Newton. Like, like, come on. And his Cam locks, Newton? like, his locks are not the best. So like, I'm not looking at that grown man's locks. Like I'm a that. big fan of his though. I'm saying though, but he has exquisite. But hats. you compare like, it, it to a, a male. You could have said a female. Just because it's a man that wears nice yeah, hats. Yeah, and, and he he look a little shabby sometimes. All and right, she look hold on, flag on the play. Is Cam Newton ugly? That is, this is the moment right here. I don't like Cam Newton. He a sissy to me. Uh, yeah, I, sorry. I, 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 sorry. He was playing football. He was crying all the time. Hey man, you. I'm sorry. I could. Hey man. But what in that Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory is this? No, nah, but Cam Newton. Do, this is his style of hat. So the joke. The joke was a hit. The joke. Oh, the joke was. was. It was accurate. You just. You just threw that joke at people who. They probably get bullied in life, so they can't handle a joke, bro. Like I don't oh, know. No. Jokes is jokes. Cam Newton. Yeah. If you can't be in a relationship where you can crack jokes and laugh, your relationship is whack. I'm sorry. If I can't crack jokes with my spouse and she crack a joke back, then, <laughs> yeah, like, the laughter is the best part of the relationship. I don't know why people don't understand that. It's not, look, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to give you the blueprint right here. It's not, it's not the, the body and it's not the personality that's going to get you guys through the relationship. It's the communication. And the humor, real real talk. If yo like, if you can't make your wife laugh, if she can't make you laugh, y'all are not gonna mix ever, because y'all gonna be sitting at the dinner table stone faced at each other, boring. And your kids are gonna be boring, and your kids are gonna get bullied because you're boring. Don't be boring. Like just, what? I'm sorry. Like, like people what? gotta hear, people gotta hear it, bro. If you can't laugh at a joke, bro, you you yeah. suck. Like you. If people wanna be unseasoned chicken. Let them be unseasoned <laughs> chicken. Okay. <laughs> Let them, be, <laughs> let them people be. I just don't like. I don't like how people can't take jokes, bro. Why are we so sensitive, bro? It's beautiful. I never denounced her. She was. I, I know, you know, but I'm just saying you compared her to somebody that's kind of shabby. He, he dodged right? a lot of bullets. Yeah, that was to, a little petty. I compared her to a man, so it was issues. Yeah, it was a little petty. Okay. It was a little um, petty. Okay, so apart from that comment, um, what if he was, was is he your type? Um, no I like the way he dresses. <laughs> And he seems really cool, but when he displayed that pettiness, that's just not my type. It wasn't even being petty. Yeah. It wasn't. No, here's what we're going to do now. <laughs> All right. And if now any of these time. women who pop for him being no, petty was, then, do something <laughs> petty, the pop well, I'm saying, you asked me like, no, a grammatical question. Like, no, she was. And okay. she definitely would have been. And, like, but it was just. All, you know, all fairness. I was just playing cool. Like, okay. that's, that's all. <laughs> no, if I disrespect you, I do apologize, but it wasn't nothing like. I appreciate that. No, I mean, like, I'm from the South, so Cam Newton actually wears pretty fire hats. So, nonetheless, like, I thought, you know, but as a man in comparison to a woman, I guess I get you. Yeah, you should. I hope you don't watch Medea movies. So, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, talk your talk. Talk your talk. Let's move back over but, here. To that, like, See, that's everyone. Like, that's everyone. All yeah. right. So, unfortunately, that is all the balloons popped. That is unfortunate. That is cool. <laughs> we were not able to find you a match today, but hopefully next time. Thank you so much for coming oh, on. Thank you. Don't go back. All right. It ain't even more thank you. Like this. Have the mic. All the Let's give it up for him, ladies. <laughs> So you can't be funny, man. Remember that. Humor does not get you relationships, apparently. That's, uh, 12,560, what? Okay, one? let's go ahead and bring out our <laughs> next yeah, single can't. guy. <laughs> man, you can't be funny. Right on over here. Welcome in. What's your name? My name is Evan. Evan, how old are you? Dang. 25. Okay, and what do you Dang, do? Evan? I'm a pro basketball player. And, I'm a pro basketball player. Oh, shoot. I'm a pro basketball player. And uh, work in insurance and day trade. Okay, nice. And Evan, what do you look for in a woman? It's honesty, honesty, accountability, uh, someone to build a family with. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. So we did get a couple of popped balloons. Let's go ahead and go over to those ladies, see what's going on. Not popping on, okay. on a pro athlete. All right, let's start right over here. If we can That's have your crazy. name and how old you are. I'm Sierra. I'm 27. Okay, and Sierra, why did you end up popping your balloon? For age. Okay. I need a man who's the same athlete. age or older. He's 25. Okay. All right, and now is um, Sierra your She's type? She's 27. A little short. Oh, I'm sorry. Just a little short, but 
that's fair. That's He's fair. a pro athlete, bro. Like y'all, y'all fumbling the bag, bro. All right, cool. Thank you. Let's go right on over here. If we can have your name and how old hey. you are. My name is Nucci. I'm 25. Okay. And Nucci, why did you end up popping your balloon? You're very handsome. Um, it's nothing wrong with your outfit. It's just not given for me personally. But you do look very put together. You look very nice. I love your hair. Bone structure, go crazy. All that. Appreciate that. <laughs> you can change All your right. clothes. And now is Nucci your type? I could definitely see us going on a date, but you, know, you said no. So I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a, Let's go I'm right on the stack. Is he a pro athlete? Even if he get rejected by all these women, he still win. He yeah, he win in the end. Like, yeah. There's gonna be. I'm sorry, my black queens, but for every time y'all reject one of these kings, there's going to be a snow bunny ready to take him, and <laughs> and she gonna rub his feet, and she gonna make the best potato salad with raisins he'll ever eat, <gasps> and. She going to live lavish, and y'all going to be sitting there like, why do black men date white women? And it's, this is it. Y'all fumbled. Like, We're here. If we can have your name and how old you are. Sure. My name is Quay. I'm 31. Okay. And Quay, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, it was just the age. So I'm a little older, and you seem like, you know, you're 25. Dang. So you're doing with 25. You popping them off somebody else talking? Makes sense. Okay. And now is Quay your type? Uh, For the most part. Subtract a couple of piercings here, there, but yeah, okay. you're very beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Wow. So just he got so much for you. Yeah. Bass in his voice, bro. Yeah, cool. Thank you. He's doing it. <laughs> All right, I'm, if we can I have your name and how old you are. Josette. He's not like low tier guy. No. Josette, no, 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 no. The age, the age, not the goat, man. bro. My king. My glorious king, LTG. It's understandable. All right, and do you get that often, like about the hair thing? No, actually, I, I used to have free forms. So, and what are free forms? If you can just explain, uh, just dreads that grow naturally. Oh, okay. So switched it up. Yeah. Okay, all right. That's and now, is just that your type? Uh, honestly, no. But you seem cool. Thank you. And and why is she not your type? Um, it just doesn't feel like the vibe. Again, no offense, but no, I'm yeah. taking. Okay. Yeah. And what's the vibe you're getting? I'm gonna. Uh. Keep it a book. I mean, it's, it's attraction. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go right on over here. We can have your name and how old you are. Shannon Marie, and I'm 29. Okay. And Shannon, why did you end up popping your balloon? It's the age. Yeah. That's so he got, nah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's cool. <laughs> and have you ever dated someone older than you before? It seems like they're all popping for age. Yeah, I have actually. I, uh, I spend a lot of my time around people older than me. Okay. Like 35. Yeah, he's mature for his age. It's cool. Okay. So I'm used to that. But so you've dated a 35 year old? Is that what you're saying, or you just spend time around oldest, them? Oldest age I've dated probably 33. Okay. Okay. All right. And now is Shannon Marie your type? Uh, no. And why not? Um, it's just a physical. Hope well, they got enough men in the back. Okay. Is there anything in specific? Uh, just body type. No, no, not again. It's just yeah, personal right. preference. Okay, and what type of body type do you typically go for? Uh, so more so. Say, I'm not gonna lie to you. I just like what I like, and I mm -hmm. I didn't like it. I, I don't wanna. What do you like? Why does it matter? I you popped on. See it for sure. Ooh. It just wasn't. It wasn't okay. All right, thank you. Yeah. Let's go right on over here. If Who's we can have your name that? and how old you are. My name is Jessica, and I'm 31. And Jessica, why'd you end up popping your balloon? Uh, two things. Ah, you 25. Uh, so that was the age. And you got your taco meat out. <laughs> <laughs> I was just playing, but um, mm. yeah. uh, outside of that, though, I do think you are extremely handsome. I would have loved to see you pull your hair back because you have an awesome face and bone structure. So she was spot on with that. But mainly so, the age and a little bit of that. So with the with the men in their chest hair out, what do y'all think y'all gonna see when y'all when y'all get intimate? Like, do y'all think it's just maybe gonna... they like a man that that slap a little nair on the <laughs> chest in the shower? Or the smooth baby. They intentionally go and get it waxed. Like, child, even David Hasselhoff didn't wax his chest hair. That's what I'm saying. He was, man and was, wasn't he declared like one of the sexiest men on the earth? David David Hasselhoff. I think so, but he ain't, he ain't sexy to me. But yeah, I mean, at, at his time, like David Hasselhoff was, he was like, in his prime. He yeah. was the standard for sure. Yeah. Like, yeah. The taco meat. <laughs> now, when you say taco meat, is it like 
What, it's a you, ball chest right here. I don't, I don't know what you're looking at. Well, right in that <laughs> that center <laughs> quadrant. Oh, yeah. Are you looking at art? Right in that center quadrant, right there. Okay. <laughs> Jessica didn't learn. She, she didn't learn nothing. She's now crazy. is Jessica someone you would approach? Jessica about to be zero uh, two boys. Though. Okay, and why not? I just want to see what you look out without makeup. Mm. Talk your talk. Uh, okay. It's kind of give you some natural face. So are you? I prefer that. Okay. So are you trying to say that she's wearing too much makeup or what? Partially, yeah. I just can't tell what you look like under there with that. Much uh, makeup. It's me underscore gorgeous. I definitely have a lot of pictures without any makeup. So shout out to my esthetician because my skin is beautiful. <laughs> but I understand. If your skin was beautiful, what? Never mind. All right, cool. Let's go on right over here. Not we can saying. have your name and how old you are. I'm did you see your face in the camera? And Kayla, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I just popped because of the age. I felt maybe you're a little too young for me. You get that? You just yeah. keep getting that. Yeah. The age is taking he, you he, out. He's he getting he <laughs> taken out for uh, his age, bro. Like, now, maturity don't Kayla mean nothing type. in this day. Like, it's, uh, I don't know. Personally, I could see us possibly going on a date. I don't know about a few, but we could definitely hit one and see how it kicks off. Okay. And you agree? Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you for that. Let's go right over here. We can have your name and how old you are. I'm Taylor and I'm 28. And Taylor, why'd you end up popping? Um, it was actually your profession. You said you're a professional basketball player. I assume that I'm not your type. Huh? That's a stretch. Yeah. I, I hear you though. Yeah, okay. but I really do like your raw eye. I think that's Appreciate dope. That. And I feel like we would have a solid conversation. Probably have some deep combos. Very deep, yes. <laughs> but when it comes so you down pop because you didn't think you were gonna be his industry, type. I just have an understanding, but maybe yeah, it might be a stretch. I get it. Yeah, I definitely get it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Fall outside. Yeah, because ball players go okay. for the mm -hmm. stereo. Okay. So type is Taylor women, someone that's your type? It would be uh, every other woman in that lineup. No, for but her. I could definitely see us being cool. Like just honestly, just hitting the spiritual level. Okay. Combo. Yeah. And what makes her not your type? Um, again, just physical attraction. I just don't feel it if it's not an immediate kind of vibe, energy. Mm -hmm. okay. It's not it for me. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. Thank you, Taylor. <laughs> Let's head back over here. No? <laughs> All right. If we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Fiona, and I'm 34. Okay. And Fiona, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I mean, of course, I'm a lot older, and then it is the career. I just feel like um, when it comes to the athletic field, typically it's a lot of girl attraction, and I just don't think it's something that I want to deal with anymore. Okay. Again, understandable. I mean, uh, just got to find you a man with some discipline. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and now, is there any truth to what she's saying? Like, is that part of your lifestyle? Like, I get a lot of attention. I mean, don't doubt that, but again, I have discipline. Uh, okay, I get uh, you. Cat mm -hmm. don't mean a lot to me, especially mm -hmm. at this point. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. And now, is Fiona someone that's your type? Personally, I'd say no. I wouldn't approach, but you seem really nice, though. Okay. And what was your reason for saying no? Um, again, the same. I just don't feel that that vibe. Uh, okay. It's good. I popped my balloon, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> that is all of the balloons I popped, see. unfortunately. We weren't yeah. able to find you a match today, but thank so, you so much for coming on. Of course, I appreciate y'all. All right, I'll take this mic. So, funny dudes, you can't make it. <clears throat> um, professional athletes, you can't make it. Let's get LeBron James. I don't even think LeBron James would make it. They would probably say, his hairline is not the, like, it's just at this point. Man, this market for dating is hard. And I'm sorry for y'all, y'all single people, man. Cause it's worse than the stock. You telling me that I could get a, I could get a, a NBA job, and I still can't find my my match. I'll still get rejected as an NBA star. It, it's only because of what comes with the profession. But if you haven't dated somebody in that profession, you wouldn't know what to expect. But it seems like those women have been able to date people in those profession. Apparently, which an average woman could never. So. But my thing is, her answer should have, she should have been swayed by just by the fact that he's a young man and he already has discipline in his vocabulary of like, 
you you need to find you a man with discipline and i myself have discipline a lot of these young younger dudes that get this 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 that level of success they're not worried about being disciplined with women and stuff like that they're worried about living their best life you get what i'm saying he's very mature for his age let's give it up for him ladies Okay, our next single guy, come on out. Right on over here. I'll have you hold this. Okay, and if we can have your name. My name is Jeremy. And how old are you, Jeremy? I'm 27. 27, okay, what do you do? So I just graduated law school, oh. so I just got hired for Dora Legal hey, Services. Hey, good job, King. Congratulations. Yeah, check me out. <laughs> All right, and Jeremy, what do you look for in a woman? <laughs> Man, I want somebody who can hold it down. Conversations. I love conversations. You know what I'm saying? She know how to throw it on because I go out every now and then. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, I like honesty too, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't be lying to me and shit. <laughs> feel me? If you on that, you know what I'm saying? If you, we could talk about whatever. So, you got secrets and shit. Talk okay. to me. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go over to these ladies and see what's going on, all right? All right, see what's happening. Okay, let's start here. If we can have your name and how old you are. Okay, so funny dudes, NBA players, and lawyers. <laughs> We're going to keep going. You can't be a funny dude, you can't be an NBA player, and you can't be a lawyer. Actually, not NBA player, professional athlete and lawyer. Hmm. <laughs> so... Mm. Man, it looked like Warehouse Dudes is up, man, or something. <laughs> I don't know what to say, bro, at this point. I'm sorry, man. My name is Fiana, and I'm 34. And Fiana, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I really like your smile, sure. but I just felt the young vibes um, immediately, and then I'm not sure if I like the hat and the shoes. Uh, okay. <laughs> sure. Just a sense of style. I like his feet. That's it. All right. Yeah, he got streetwear. And now is Fiana yeah. your type? Um, Fiona, what you looking for in a guy? I'm looking for a maturity. I'm looking for a leader. Okay. Um, and a breadwinner. What's a leader? Uh, mm. someone that can mm. teach me something new, cause I feel he's like a really he's I'm a lawyer teaching a man something. So I want someone to guide me and teach me something. Okay. So what if he could teach you something, but he a leader? He on the up and up. You know what I'm saying? You gonna hold it down, or you just gonna be like, oh, since you ain't got the bread, you dismiss. Well, it's not necessarily that, but it's also the age difference, too. So I don't know if you have a maturity for someone that'll be 35 this year. All right. When you was young, you ever dated somebody older? I have. All right. So what's up with the age then? Do you feel you can lead me? I think I can lead you wherever you're trying to go. Okay. Then I might reconsider my balloon being popped. Oh. Sure. All right. You. Talk your talk, lawyer. Was that a butterfly? It is a butterfly. How many tattoos you got? Uh, about roughly 20. Okay. They mean something, or you just begin to it? No, they mean something. Uh, His okay. charisma. Okay. He got good charisma. Yeah, he do. What's the okay. best tattoo you got? Um, probably I got an Afro chick on my back, and it represents my sister. Oh, okay. Past. Yeah. Okay, rest in peace. I feel like Thank I you. have people that died, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I understand, you know. It hurt. We move on. We wreck, you know? Exactly. I'm moving on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fiona, you... You feeling the vibe or? I'm feeling the vibe. Oh, I am. Okay. I like. I like it. I like the aggression. <laughs> That's how I am. <laughs> okay. Are we? Are we getting a balloon back? I think we're getting a balloon back. Oh, <laughs> the balloon Charisma back. is crazy. <laughs> Hey, maybe that's that, maybe that's the key to it. We just oh, gotta like pressure. Okay, on, we're gonna like, be back for you. Crazy. All right, <laughs> let's go to our next lady. We can have your name and how old you are. I'm Sierra. I'm 27 as well. Okay, all right, okay. 27, gang. <laughs> Sierra, right. why'd you end up popping your balloon? <laughs> um, I popped the balloon for the fit because I know we both got on the phone and he said dress to impress, uh -huh. and you wearing a hoodie, and it's not given for me unfortunately but honestly i'm feeling the inside like i like the voice like i like that, that you are interested in getting to know us yeah. i love your you know I, I, like your swag whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it like i like that but it's the fit for me because first impressions are everything and dress to impress i'm about that okay like style it's not given for me all right i feel that so first impression right so what else you see on my hoodie dof and okay. a crown all right so that's also my llc Dreamers okay. only favorite. Mm, so, talk you know, your talking. I had to rip what I rip. I had Dreamers only favorite ever since high school. So I just got my LLC two years ago. 
Okay, so, respect. Talk your talk, I love it. I also have a that. podcast outside of this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Maybe you should come. What's your tattoo mean? Fear nothing. Fear nothing? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Okay. All right. His so charisma is crazy. <laughs> this dude put all his stats and charisma is going are. stupid right My now. My name is Nucci on 25. Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> and Nucci, why did you end up popping Nucci. your balloon? Um, Again, the fit. Um, I like the shoes. I just think that you maybe could have cleaned them up before you came. Yeah. And maybe styled it a little bit different, but I do really like the shoes. Um, and I do it. like that you representing your LLC, your brand, your shit. Um, yeah. That's dope. Um, and I really love that you always smiling. Like, no. you ain't lost a smile yet. I nah, like that. But low-key, like, when you kind of walked on, it was kind of giving, like, I don't want to say goofy because, like, that's that's a terrible word, but it was just, like, the way you came on. I don't know. Okay. But, yeah. And what happened to your finger? Because what is going so, on? So, I also work on cars. So, I was glad you noticed that. So, I was fixing one of my homie cars. Mm-hmm. They got caught in the terminal belt. I almost took it for real. I oh, Lord. I was going to wrap it up, but I'm going to keep it gangster. So, <laughs> yeah, keep it gangster. You know I just wanted to know what you know. happened. But that's what's like. We work on cars, too, so you got your hands in a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. I like I that. I do a lot. I do a lot. You know what I'm saying? These days, you got to have your hands in a lot of bags. You got to be diverse. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Talk your talk. Back in the day where you could just make a bag off one thing, you got to make a bag off multiple things. Absolutely. Multiple talk your talk. Things. I like that. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you something. You toxic? No, honestly, um, I'm a behavioral health therapist. So when I started that job, I kind of like started to work on myself. And that was the beginning of my like um, self journey. So like I've worked on myself a lot. I used to be toxic. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I used to be that girl. Yeah. But I ain't no more. You miss your ex. Say it again. You miss your ex. No. Uh, okay, my ex is my biggest fan. Oh yeah, but he is. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, he been, oh, is it off the body? <laughs> is it off the body, that's what he doing? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, so you take pride in the way you look, I'm sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Let's go on to our next lady. So he's good, he's, have his charisma is good, bro. Yeah. Yeah. My name he, is He's he running this conversation. Yeah. Y'all gonna so talk to me. Your age. Y'all gonna <laughs> talk to me. That's, that's how, that's, I like it because even though you pop to me, nah, you're not gonna get off on no... Oh, it's just I don't feel the attraction. Like he's like, no, you gonna talk to me. Like we, what did you pop for it? All right, cool. But I'm still gonna learn about you, and I'm gonna make you learn something about me. Right. That is charisma. It's the same thing with the dude with the briefcase from Chicago. That's mm-hmm. the same thing he did, and that's why them chicks ended up liking him, and he went over so well because it's how you're able to carry yourself, even if people pop on you. Right. And his charisma is just through the roof right now. He looked like he would be the like the like the homie that like you gotta just put in everything because he just he just his energy is just good, bro. He just he solid. Man. He a yeah, man. he just solid, bro. Like he's solid. Um, yeah. So I just popped my balloon. I think everything you're saying sounds great. I like that you give off like a positive energy. Yeah. Um, which is really good. Um, it just seems like you're a little bit young. Okay. You remind me of maybe like a a younger sibling that I have. Okay. Um, but I think your head is on straight. I think you got some big things that you got going on, and I respect that. Yeah. For sure. Where are you from? I'm born and raised in Arizona. Oh, okay. Why are you single at 31? Um, I think I'm really picky, and um, I like what I like, and sometimes men tell me that my expectations are a little too high. So. So that was men that was obviously older than 31 or 31, right? That were older than 30, yeah, that were older than older than me, but also younger guys. I feel like I'm kind of on a different journey, so I know what I was doing at, you know, in my 20s. I was having fun, you know, and doing what I'm supposed to do, so I don't That's expect you. a man to step mm-hmm. up, you know, at 25 and or, you know, in their 20s and kind of be on the same type of stuff I'm on. So, so what you expecting out of a man when you're 31? Um, I expect them to be a provider, a protector, um, to have their communication together because I've noticed a lot of, not even just men, but people in general, they don't know how to communicate, you know, um, so there's a lot of things that I expect. I expect for him to come with his own because I have my own and for us to be able to come together at one point and, you know, build on what we already have together. So, oh, okay. Yeah. You, so you think it's a price on love? You think it's an age on love? I don't think there's an age, but um, I think yeah. I have given a really good question, different actually. age groups. Um, and when I say that, like, you know, younger than me, um, and I kind of get the same results. So I always say if, you know, 
if I'm going to keep doing the same thing, I'm going to keep doing the, you know, getting the same results. So I'm you a fan of people. Nicki Minaj? <laughs> yes, I am. You a fan of Beyonce? Yes, I love her. Okay, so Beyonce married somebody way older than her. Nicki Minaj dated Meek Mill when he was young. I'm Quay, and mm -hmm. I can't really <laughs> speak for what anybody else does. What I can say is, with my experiences, the you know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting and you know different results. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to do something different this time around. Uh, okay, for sure. Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay. Okay. Awesome. If we can have your name and how old you are, Josette, and I'm 29. Seven. And Josette, why gender popping your balloon? Um, age, really, that's it. The way you're dressed, I feel like first impressions are everything. I, I understand, you know, you trying to promote your brand and all of that, but just, like, maybe you could have wore, like, a shirt that had, you know, the DOF or a collared shirt or, you know, something else, but okay. it was really just those those few things. Oh, I appreciate your smile, that your energy. Yep. You have a great aura. Appreciate I really that. am big on that. Like, oh, yeah, you your know. smile, a lot of people comment, compliment my smile and say that I have a smile that makes others smile, and you really do have a smile that makes everyone else smile. You know so, that. So, appreciate <laughs> that, but that, that was it. Where are you from? I'm from here, Arizona. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you never thought about leaving, doing something else? Yeah, I'm actually planning on leaving soon. You ever did school or anything? Um, yes, I have a bachelor's in health science. Oh, okay. Health so what science, you do for uh, what you do for a living? Flight attendant and a makeup artist. Okay, you gonna go into the health department? Um, I don't know yet. I don't know um, if I want to actually pursue that. It was just a personal goal that I wanted to accomplish with getting my bachelor's, which I did. So it's just something I'm keeping and in my bag in case I got to use it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay. Congratulations though on graduating law school, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that, appreciate yeah. that. So wait, real quick, so what you um, what you bring to the table? Mm. Um, I feel like I am the table. Okay. What do I bring to the table? I, I am the table. Um, so what's on the table? I bring communication, I bring groundness. I feel like the world is crazy, especially as a black man, when dating black men, you have to deal with so much coming home to mm -hmm. someone who you can unleash everything that you experience throughout the day with is important. Someone who can provide a meal, okay. which is the basic stuff. You should be able to do that. Um, someone who you can confide in as a best friend, have good times, and even have bad times. Someone who, can, who you can learn from. Um, someone who you can teach things to. I just feel mm -hmm. like I am able to do all of that. Uh, based off of like what I've really been through as an individual, um, the good things and the bad things in life, you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like I bring I bring a lot to the table, which is why I said I am the table. All right, okay, and now is Josette your type? No. Okay, why not? Cause I think she got a good head on her shoulders. I just think she looking for the wrong things. She know what she want, but I think she looking for the wrong things right now. So I'm not your type because of your you, the way that you think I am? Because you like that I'm in law school. You like my smile. No, I didn't say I like that. Well, I said congratulate. Yeah, because okay. that's an accomplishment in your personal life. Okay, so you I'll be happy right. for my friend to graduate law school. Like, I, I, you know, like if you see somebody on social media and they say that they just graduated, I don't have to know you to congratulate you. That's just a human trait that you should be able to congratulate other people on their success. You don't like that, though? Do I like it? I, I, I don't think that that's something that I can put in the category of like or not like. I think that that was a personal goal that you accomplished. And so me as a human being who was raised correctly, I feel like I should congratulate you. I feel like right. everybody should congratulate you. That's something that is hard to accomplish. And I get, get where he's getting Because you said, you know. You because it's like, I'm somebody that, that comes with all of this, like lawyer, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm charismatic, I'm this, I'm that. I, I'm like, I'm a full on package. But that's not something that you want. But you named everything that, everything I, that, that I, I am. So you don't want it. You just don't want it from me. You just don't, yeah. And it's like if that's the case, to just say you don't, you just don't have the attraction. I feel like he he's going good. I feel like, but um, if his aim is to get somebody to keep his balloon, he's coming off as uh like a red pill. Like the he's coming off like um like like he did say he has a podcast, so like this is like the podcaster type of. Well, what do women bring to the table? Um, you know, it's a lot of stuff that I hear on like a lot of these podcasts when it comes to like 
men versus women and a lot of the questions he's asking i'm like i've heard this question before so it's like i get it and i feel like he is asking good questions but if this is your aim to attract a female um i would not support the idea of using you know like strong men like I don't know how to describe no, it. No, let no, because like I, I don't I disagree because let that man be a man. He's asking questions that a woman would ask him. What do right. you bring to it to the table as a man? Right. So I don't think it's coming off as red pillish. I feel like even if he doesn't have the intentions of wanting somebody to retrieve their balloon back, he's asking questions to get the women to think. Yeah, think, no, no, no. Think about no. what you really want and like really stand on it because all the answers that they've given the last two contestants was mediocre. Yeah, no. So what I'm saying is, like I said, his questions, I don't I like his questions. That's that's my thing. I like yeah. his questions. But these are questions that you ask people when you're having a conversation about the thing the dating game between a man and a woman. This is not something you would go to court somebody with. You get me? I'm not come if if I'm trying to approach you, I'm not going to come to you and say, "I have all this. What do you bring to the table?" Because at the end of the day, my objective in this game is to find love and find somebody find an attraction or find a connection. Now, this conversation is something you could talk to on a date, but when this is somebody you've known for five minutes and you're coming at them like well i did this and i did this and i did this what do you bring to the table that's kind of like that's going to that's going to be off-putting to two people it's off-putting to people because they feel like well why do i have to tell you what i bring to the table this blah blah blah, blah. like you don't but i, I don't know it's a qu it's a question you can either answer it or not answer it you could be offended by it or not be offended by it Right. But these are questions that they literally asked in the previous episodes between men and women. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's coming off as red pillish. I just think he's engaging with everybody, and he might be he might be doing somebody else a solid in the back that's listening to this. The 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 reality is, as somebody who has watched red pill content before, I watched the Kevin Samuels, I watched the whatever podcast, I watched the Andrew Tate, I watched the Fresh and Fit because I I I criticize. I criticize a lot of those platforms because I do agree with some of the stuff that they're saying, but I also understand the exact form of questioning he's using is stuff that is predominantly the main focus of red filled content. The only difference is he's not bashing women. You get what I'm saying? And that's why I said, I don't have a problem with his questioning, but as somebody who has heard this before, I'm saying just listening to him, he watches red pill content. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Just listening to him because I can pull up. I can pull up a clip right now of Andrew Tate saying the exact same thing. The word for word, bar for bar. And that's, that's the, <laughs> I appreciate you baby girl for something, I guess. Yeah, I appreciate it. But, um, that's what I'm saying. That's, I'm not saying he's wrong again. Like, I agree with everything you're saying. I'm on your side with it, but I'm saying putting yourself in their shoes, in their perspective, this is coming off as red pill. This is a red pill. This is Sneeko. This is this is Andrew Tate. I I uh and I don't know. Like have you I've, watched a lot of I've red seen, pill content? I've seen red pill content, but most of the red pill content that I have seen was like mostly like Andrew Tate or something like that or maybe um what's the stupid with the Marvin what's his name what's the stupid podcast thing called Fresh, Fresh and, Fit? and Fit yeah Fresh and Fit but, but this is more like he's more like the Kevin Samuels like he's asking Kevin Samuel questions and that's why I'm like I've heard this before you get what I'm saying I I, I mean I guess I'm not I'm not taking like even yeah. if, like I'm not taking it like I'm not taking it as offense the from the oh. questions that he's asking like mm -hmm. I'm not taking it as like him being rude or anything like that. I just no, no, no. I'm, I'm not saying that either. Thinking that he genuinely wants to know, like, no, no, no. Again, he's a podcast. Again, I think we're, I think we're, we're not. I think we're not. I, I think we're misunderstanding what, what I'm saying. I'm not saying his questions are bad, and I'm not saying his questions are off. I'm saying the formula that the questions are coming from 
is the formula that red pill content creators use. That's what I'm saying. And knowing that he has a podcast, then it, it all makes sense. It adds up. But I'm saying as somebody who watches, who has watched those podcasts, it's very, it's very easy to spot other people who watch red pill content. It's very easy. And that's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I don't think his questions are bad though. No, for sure. Like you are hundred percent right. These women should, I feel like they can't answer it, but I'm saying in a, in a game, in a game like this, where you're trying to attract or find your attraction to people, this is more like, this is like a more sophisticated, educated version of what the Dr. Elam dude tried to do. Because the Dr. Elam dude was just a narcissist. That's all I'm saying. You like a person with a good smile, light up the room. You say I didn't you say like. I liked it. You well, you say you. I said I noticed it, it. Okay, and I love it. your aura. And you love my aura. Yes. Okay, so, so you, you don't can, like it, you love it. I okay. love your aura. Yeah, so, that you can say I I like or love. I love your aura. I did say that. Yes. All right. So if you like the aura, mm -hmm. and you worried about the swag. I'm not worried about the swag. The swag wasn't the only thing that I said. That's, That's why you popped your balloon. No. That is why you say you popped your balloon. I said multiple reasons. Mm. You said you're a good listener. The other reason was because of your age. Okay. You're 29. Okay. I feel like you might be too young. You might not be ready for what I'm ready for or what I bring to the table. What exactly is that? I just she told just, you what I She just explained that. Okay. Another, another yeah, thing so that I will say, you're a good communicator, pill. but it might be rubbed off as in um, you flirt a lot because you mm, okay, are having a missed. conversation in depth with every woman that's on here and we are on a show for you to find love. And I feel like maybe giving attention to the woman that you are interested in, in particular, might be like the way that you should go as far as, in the setting that we're in, you know what I'm saying? But I do appreciate the fact that you know how to communicate. That's a great thing. But the way that you're communicating with every single woman, I feel like if it was a woman here who had her balloon, balloon still up, the way that you're communicating with everybody, you should be communicating that with that specific woman rather than having a, conversation the way that you are with everybody well you know i can't find love unless i have a conversation with somebody you know i gotta okay. get to know who you is definitely understandable all right thank you <laughs> okay if Sorry. we can have your name and how old you are i'm shannon marie and i'm 29. Okay. nice to meet you and shannon marie why'd you end up popping your balloon it's just the outfit yeah. but i really love the way you speak you have a really great voice i can tell you like going in depth with a person and getting to know them but i do care about appearance and i'm a loctician myself so okay. i do feel like you probably should have came with a reed twist oh a reed twist and yeah. a suit on yeah. no you don't have to put a suit on but you could have cleaned the shoes up the maybe shoes up. maybe not had like a a windbreaker outfit on because they did tell us to come like we was dressed for a date Okay. So it's just like if you would have came a little bit more presentable for a date, then I probably wouldn't have popped my bubble. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's so. You believe in God? I do. So you got the cross on. Yes. And so what you do? You say you in the legal field? No, I'm a hairstylist. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Well, shit. Give me right then after this. <laughs> Give me right. All right, bet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. If we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Cheska. Know what I'm saying? And I'm 31. Know what I'm saying? And also too. Know Feel what I'm me. saying? Is she okay? Wait, wait. She wait. is playful. It's playful. It's, play, it's playful. It's playful. It's playful. It's playful. It's playful. Hey, I feels you, man. Feel me. Also, too, I'm from Cleveland too. So shout out to you. Shout out. What to part? Cle uh, Cleveland. Cleveland. That? Yeah, but I'm from Cleveland. No, Cleveland. Cleveland. Yeah. What part though? <laughs> and why'd you end up popping your feeling, Jessica? Um, I get homie vibes from you. Okay. And I feel like you would make a bomb ass lawyer because you cross examining everybody. Yeah, yeah. I'm on y'all ass. <laughs> everybody. So. But just he give me homie vibes. Okay. That's what's up. So. All right. And yeah. now, are you feeling Jessica? Yeah, she cool. You know what I'm saying? You got a you got a BBL or that's your real body? Ooh, yeah, I know. Okay. Do a 360. Can we get a 360? Yeah. Huh? And with that note, he just he just proved uh, homegirl in the back's point that uh, he 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 does come off as too flirty and it's like if there was a girl that still had her balloon the attention you're you're getting from people who pop their balloon you should be directing it towards the person who is interested in you and now you telling girls to give you 360s because you want to see if this is a bbl or not you're gonna lose a, you're gonna lose a lot of likability for that she already popped her balloon so it don't matter yeah
This is what 150 pound weight loss look like, okay? Hey. And I'ma show it off every time. I know that's right. <laughs> hey, that should look good though. You know what Thank saying? you, and it's out natural. Yeah, yeah. What your necklace say? Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank oh, you, God. Jessica. I'm it, though. <laughs> okay, how. if we can have your name and how old you are. I'm Kayla. I'm What's up, Kayla? And Kayla, you why'd you end up popping your balloon? Double bless. <laughs> uh, honestly, I just don't like the shoes with the outfit. Okay. Yeah. But I do agree with some of the other ladies, like your energy. You seem really positive. Yeah. I like your smile. Appreciate but it. But the shoes kind of just throw it all off for me. She was throw it off. All right. Sure. And now is Kayla your type? Uh, she cool, but nah. Hey, I like to watch though. Why not? Why is she not your type? Mm, cause I feel like some of them saying the shit just cause it's like Dory me. Like I feel like they just repeating each other. Okay. I don't really think like they saying what they want to say for real. Oh, that's how I really feel. Okay. Yeah. That's cool though. I don't follow others. That's cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Kayla. All right. If we can have your name and how old you are. Hi, I'm Taylor and I'm 28. What's up? Hey. And Taylor, why'd you end up popping your balloon? Um, it was just the, like, I think, you know, we're all coming in and, you know, sometimes there's nerves, but it was like, kind of like toddler walk. But then as soon, like, I, I'm not one to like dr uh, judge how someone's dressed because we all have different styles. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like as soon as I was hearing you speak and everything, I really appreciate the level headedness, your conversation and how you speak. Appreciate that. Um, and then I was like, trying to read you i'm really into astrology okay. and What's your sign? i was gonna ask you first no i asked you first oh, well, i beat you to the first i'm gonna, guess. No, I'm gonna guess um you're giving gemini or sagittarius or capricorn I'm definitely gemini okay I, I felt gemini first I'm definitely gemini um and that's another astrology is uh -uh. not real What's your sign? um you guess just one you a water sign yeah mm, pisces yep Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be knowing my Pisces. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I love conversation. I love communication. And your energy is very contagious. Like, I don't think it's just, we're women, we feel. So I feel like I could feel you. And yeah, better know that. Yeah. <laughs> so what's. I think, I think, I think. I said this on like the first video. I feel like if the, if the, the people who created astrology would hear the way we use astrology, to like dictate like relationships and stuff like that. I think they would probably look at us with like, <laughs> like confused as a mug. Cause that's the purpose of it is to create confusion. That's yeah. The purpose of it. Cause like, if you feel like, I feel like if you look, if, if the, the month I'm born dictates that you won't like me, then it's like what? <laughs> like, like, even just even even like saying it out loud, right? The month I'm born dictates me as a person. That means that every person who was born in December should act like me. Well, my cousin Elisha is born in December. Do me and Elisha act the same at all? Not at all. And I love you, cousin. So is me and Natalie. Natalie's also born in December. Do me and Natalie act the same at all? We don't act nothing alike. So it's like, by just that standard, it doesn't make sense. Your month, the month you're born is just when your parents decided to mate. That does not have any deciding factor over who you are as a person. The thing that decides who you are as a person is your upbringing. It doesn't matter if you're, you could be the quietest person ever, but if you're taught to steal and even though you're quiet and you're humble, you're going to steal. Now, if you're loud and rambunctious, but you're taught to be respectful, you're going to be a loud, rambunctious, respectful person. It's how you're, it's how you're taught. It's how you're, you're raised. It's not your month. That doesn't make sense. You got something to say? Cause I know you, I know you hate astrology. I know like, <laughs> it's, 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 it's dumb. It's pointless. It's like, it causes so much confusion and discord and it gives like identity crisis. Like you're allowing somebody that studied the stars in the universe or whatever the case may be to tell you who you are as a person with X amount of characteristic traits, likes and dislikes. Like, Oh, I'm a cancer, so I dislike the winter time. 
<laughs> it's like what? What? <laughs> you're, what a Pi- you're a Pisces. We can't be friends. Well, why not? Because you're too self centered. You don't even know me from a, from the the back of your hand. How do you know <laughs> I'm self centered? Because your mom said so. Like that. Like it's just it's stupid. It's stupid, and it causes so much like discord and division. I've had instances where like like my family is into this the zodiac thing. Me and me and my cousin like Brianna, we would beef. Just because people be like, oh, you're a cancer and she's a Gemini. Y'all not going to get along. So we would beef just because of that. But even then, like, we also got along pretty well. Yeah, when people weren't bringing it up to you. Yeah, like, it's it's just, it's stupid, bro. It's stupid. I don't claim that stuff. Because then you're claiming, you're like, you're claiming an entity or a thing that is not you. That's no different than you claiming a, a demon and attaching it to yourself. That demon is not you. It's just attached to you. No, that's a fact, actually. So it's just like, that. that's how I look at astrology now. It's evil. It's It, cre- it creates confusion, discord, and it's ignorant. You don't know who you are as a person. You got to let somebody else tell you who you are. Like, that's stupid. That's a fact. What's up with this? What that mean? That this, your heritage is on? Because um, I see you got the earrings, too. It's my culture. Where are you from? Um, I'm, I was born in Shreveport, Louisiana, okay. and partially raised between Shreveport and San Diego and Sacramento. Okay. I've been to over 15 different schools. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm talking about me, like my individuality. I'm just doing what feels and looks and just, just feels right for me. But you said it was your um, culture. So, yeah, this is my artistic expression. You created her own African culture. culture. I'm into my culture, okay. <laughs> but I love I love African culture. I love culture. What is her? What humanity. is your culture? All right, her. cool. All. Thank you, Taylor. Yeah. You can, we can be our own culture. Over here, because yes. we that balloon be did get popped. Yeah, she popped her shit on me. <laughs> she popped her shit. All right, Fiona, bullish. why did we pop? Why we pop? You were doing so good, but I mean, once I heard Gemini, that would have sold it too. Um, but prior- my point exactly. <laughs> I literally just said, bro. Bro, stay so, single. Stay single. Because, you know, this just proves, like, why astrology doesn't work. He hit all her green checkpoints and was solid. But when she heard Gemini, it was done. It's just so, it's so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. Y'all gonna, y'all, gonna, y'all gonna die lonely by these stars, bro. And that's on y'all, bro. I'm sorry. Like, it's it's just like, you know, I don't know, man. It's it's sad. That's the, it's, that's, but that's, that's. That's the that's the works of the enemy to create division and divide. So the longer we stay divided, the longer we stay not liking each other because of X, Y, and Z and have no concrete reasons to dislike a person just based off of the stars, the stars, stars. You can't even freaking read yourself stars. You can't even pronounce stars that you don't even know actually have names to them. That's true. You just like who's raising y'all? A book. Well, what, what kind of book you reading? Because it ain't the Bible. You got to remember, everybody ain't believers. That's your problem right there. Prior to that, I can just tell that you are going to be an excellent lawyer, but I can tell I that, that you like to argue. Um, your conversation is more of a debate versus um, actual, genuine conversation. So okay. um, I don't want to debate in my life anymore or argue. Mm-hmm. I just want to be... Good vibes, good energy, and my I don't want any life. back and forth in my future anymore. So, <laughs> what's your sign? I'm a Cancer. Oh, okay. So yeah, you go right next to you. So astrology rule your life, huh? Uh, not necessarily. So you um, said Gemini was the it button. So it's like you just tell somebody no just yeah. off their sign. Um, most importantly, just you are a debater, and I don't like that. And okay. overall, Gemini's are a new person each day. Um, oh. my b- birthday. Is Gemini's are a new person each day. Because the sign, the uh, I don't know, I don't know how that we gonna works. spend. We gonna spend like three hours on this. Like they say, like gem, technically, Gemini's are like two people or some bull crap like that. It ain't even worth looking up. I just need to understand. I can't even spell Gemini because like, yeah, it's two people. See, this right here. Gemini's are constantly juggling a variety of passion, hobby, careers, and friend groups. They can, they are social butterflies, and quick-witted twins can talk to anyone about anything. Find them buzzing between happy hours, dinners, and dance floor. 
I feel like this is just like a very generic. You can say this about anything. But like everybody has. I don't know, bro. Oh, let me see. Because what is what is my sign? Say? You don't have a sign. Well, the people's claim. No, you don't claim that. Outspoken, optimist, extroverts who elicit respect and affection from everyone they come they come into contact with. Their narratives are loyal, smart, assertive, and compassionate personality. They are one of a kind, talented, and impeccable discernment. I read a fortune cookie that said this exact same thing. Hmm. 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 I mean. What is yours? <laughs> what is yours? I'm sorry. I don't see that crap. Hey, I'm not claiming it. You're not a Sagittarius. It's June 22nd, yes. so I have traits of Gemini. Right. So oh. I know we get bored easily. Oh. Um, you judging me right can, now? I'm reading you. It's a big difference between judging and reading. But that's, that's that astrology it. thing again. No, I'm just reading who you are. You like to debate, and I don't want to debate. Okay. I want to have a good time. That's it. All right. Thank you, Fiona. All right. So, unfortunately, that is all the balloons popped. We weren't able to find you any love today, but thank you for Sorry, coming man. on. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. All right. I'll take the mic. Let's right. give it up for him. If anything, he got a lot of people that's going to want to watch his podcast because he probably just reached a lot of people um, intellectually. So. Ladies. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. Come on over here. Hello, ladies. What's your name? My name is Jay Angelo. D'Angelo? Yeah. Jay Angelo. Jay Angelo. Okay, yeah. and how old are you, Jay Angelo? I'm 31. All right, okay. what do you do? Well, I'm a warehouse operations uh, director. Um, I do music. I'm an artist. I'm a singer. And uh, I just moved here a year ago. Oh, yeah. all right. Okay. okay. Nice. Yeah. And you said you're, you're a singer? Correct. Okay, do you have any music out? Or yes, yes. Like that? Um, if you look under uh, Jay Angelo, you'll find me there on Apple. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, ladies, y'all want to hear a little something? <laughs> oh, can we hear something? Well, well, right now. Yeah, right now. <laughs> it was love at first sight. Well, okay, hit the I know from the way she looked at me. Hey, hit the nose, Jay. Oh. <laughs> Her eyes said it all. I ain't going to do it. I give a little bit. All right, okay. Yeah. And yeah. Angela, what do you look for in a woman? Um, A woman that has morals and values that know they self, you know, know where they're going. Mm -hmm. A woman that's, uh, you know, full of life, you know, um, that's that love to travel, you know. Hey, you know what's crazy? When I said you can't be a basketball player, a lawyer, or a funny guy, what did I say? The warehouse, the warehouse. Warehouse dudes is up. We are the best quality of men. <laughs> we up. <laughs> we up. <laughs> Things, you know, just very family oriented. Okay. Uh, that's that's just what I look for. Just be yourself, you know. That's just me. Okay. You know, right. Down to earth, you know. Nice. Yeah. Well, Jalen and Jill, we ain't had no balloons popped yet. Oh wow. You're doing well. <laughs> 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 so, so we're gonna switch it on over to you. If yeah. I can um, have your toothpick, please. I'll go ahead and pass that to appreciate you. It, appreciate so, it. So the first round, I know it's gonna be a little bit hard, but we're just gonna do it strictly based off of looks. Ah, that's yes. cool. Yes, I'm oh. gonna have you pop two balloons, and then we'll go into why you ended up popping those balloons. <sighs> just go right into it. I'll follow you wherever you go. Well, actually, pop the two, and then we'll go. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> okay, one more. One more? Mm -hmm. Ah, I thought it was only one. Wow. Ah, this is crazy. <laughs> this is this not fair. Oh. Well, she got one. Okay, that's fair. that's fair. Let's go ahead and go over to first okay. the one you pop, and then we'll come back. All right. <laughs> All right. If we can have your name and how old you are. I'm Taylor, and I'm 28. Okay. I'm oh, I'll have you stand right here. I'm sorry. Sure about Thank that. you. Okay, and Jay Angelo, why did you end up popping your balloon for Taylor? Um. I like the style. She's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I like hair. I like to see the hair, and the hat was kind of throwing me off, okay. you know? So that's, you know, other than that, she's beautiful. Okay, beautiful thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're beautiful, too. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. All right, now, and Taylor, why did you leave your balloon unpopped? Um, I feel like your energy is very comforting. Yeah. And when you said morals and values, that's like yeah. the number one thing I stand for. I'm a humanitarian. Yeah. I believe in morality and um, 
ethics. So that was something I wanted to learn more about you. That's beautiful. Can I shake your hand? Can I shake your hand? Sure. That's beautiful. Thank yeah, you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Definitely. you. All right. Thank you, Taylor. And uh, let's go back over here to our lady right. that popped. If we can have your name and how old you are. Josette, and I'm 29. I'm and Josette, why did you end up popping your balloon? <sighs> I'm going to be honest. The first... Uh. The first impression, I didn't like your outfit, okay. um, but I was like, I felt like I can get past it because I yeah. saw your aura. Yeah. Um, but really, you just seem indecisive. <laughs> Aye, man. I I'm I'm not in the show. It's not me. <laughs> it's not me. I feel like you knew whose balloon you wanted to pop, but you maybe, I don't know, where you didn't want to hurt any feelings. I don't know. Not but even that. That's I what just, it was. It was more of a, uh, I, it was more of that, but in a way, but I, I just see it as like, I, I don't really have like a type. It's just dependent on, you know. I'm who, the same way. Your you know, vibe with the person. Exactly. I get it. You yeah. know, but. I understand that. Yes. I appreciate that, though. All right. And now, is Josette your type? Um, if we was in a, in a, in a, at a bar in a club, I'd some to her. She got a beautiful smile. Thank you. She do. You do, too? Thank you. I All appreciate right. it. Thank you. Let's go yeah. on over here. We did get a popped balloon. If we can have your name and how old you are. Uh, Kayla, 31. How are you doing, Kayla? Good. How are you? Pleasure. You're doing great. And Kayla, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I would say on my what does he what did he do? I I don't understand the reasons why people pop. Like when they what I notice a lot of people pop when the other women are talking or when the other men are talking. It's never when the person that needs to be the one getting criticized or in, under evaluation. It's never when they say anything. It's when other people say stuff. You just already fed up with this video. <laughs> you already mm -hmm. You tapped out. And I, I'm not sure about the like attraction level. Yeah. I don't feel like it's there 100. percent Yeah. Okay. And is there anything in particular that you're saying you're not attracted to? Um. I mean, the outfits. The outfits are right. I like the red. I feel like it pops. Mm -hmm. Um. I think I like a little bit more, like a clean cut with the hairstyle. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's it. All right. Oh, you don't know hair. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And now is uh, Kayla your type? Uh, she's someone that I, I, you know, I would compliment her and say she's beautiful. But probably just keep moving, but okay. you know, she's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go right. back over here. Mm -hmm. All right. Your name and how old you are? Nucci. I'm 25. Nucci. And Nucci, why did you end up popping your balloon? I didn't want to at first because, mm -hmm. again, like, I mean, I would have preferred a different top, mm -hmm. but I could get past that. Yeah. And I love that you do music. You have a gorgeous voice. Yeah. I do music. I rap. So maybe we could collab or something. Let's go. But, um, yeah, it was really the hair. Like, it's, yeah. it's, I don't, it's probably the way it grow naturally, but mm -hmm. it's giving, like, anime, like, Goku, <laughs> like, a little bit, just a little bit. But, you know, I mm. think you would. But when he said. He's so we can say he got Goku hair, but we can't say she got ramen hair. He uses a sponge. He, oh, I, I know. Yeah, I know. He uses a sponge on the little. But my thing is, so we can say your hair look like Goku. That's why I don't like it. But he can't say, oh, your hair look like ramen. Like. Okay look amazing with like some dreads or something yeah. I'm, a, I'm a i'm a sucker for dreads or like okay. a, a fade or like a yeah. waves or something mm -hmm. but um other than that you know you, you have a nice smile love your skin appreciate color it. appreciate it that's love yeah most definitely okay all right so we do still have it looks like five balloons unpopped did you have a question to go ahead and ask ladies um, to help you narrow it down anyone have kids children okay and is that, is our children a deal breaker for you? It's not, but that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, let's go on over here then. All right, and if we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Quay, I'm 31. Beautiful, okay. beautiful. And Quay, why did you leave your balloon unpopped? <laughs> what do you, what's up? <laughs> are you checked out? 
Are you checked out? Because it's like, what what guys is four? Yeah. And like, it's still a panel of like nine women. Nobody has found a match yet. Um, <laughs> he just seems very genuine, um, very gentle. And I really like um, a man this day and age that can be gentle, yeah. that can be genuine. And I just, you know, yeah, I got that feeling for you. Yeah. yeah. And he's tall, dark, and handsome. So. <laughs> <laughs> well. All well. right. And now I know you said it was the kids that you ended up popping for. Yeah. Um, now, is she someone that is your type, though? <laughs> Most definitely. Okay. Yes. The whole outfit, everything. A1. Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. And have you ever dated someone with kids before? And I, I have, but as through the experiences, I've learned that I just want to, you know, start from scratch. Just my preference, you know, okay. as a family to build, you know, from scratch. Okay. You know? And I really respect that because yeah. I get into these situations where men are, men are not upfront about that. Right. And then it comes out later. So I really respect that. Right. And you're a good, you're a good guy. I can, can I shake your hand too? Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Quay. Right. Okay. Any other questions? Um, Such a gentle giant. Uh, what are three traits you uh, find, you know, that's good about yourself? All okay. right. Start here. We'll first have him um, have you give him your name, how old you are, and then answer his question. Um, my name is Fiana. I'm 34, <laughs> and some good. Wait, wait, wait. What are we about to hear? I'm loyal. I'm genuine. I'm honest. I have a great personality. I'm driven. I'm independent. I'm headstrong. I'm funny. I'm courageous. I'm adventurous. I'm lovable. I'm kind. I'm humble. No. <laughs> Good traits about me is um, giving. I am genuine, okay. um, and I'm a hard worker. I'm a go getter, so I don't depend on anybody to do anything for me. <laughs> your name, how old you are, and your three traits. I'm Sierra. I'm 27. The glasses. Um, I I, my... It's because the glasses. I can't take you serious. <laughs> Cause I I know your like your face expression without the glasses, but your glasses make you look like you going mm 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 mm, and I just can't take you seriously, bro. Well, <laughs> these are prescription, by the way, y'all. Are my <laughs> heart? I have a good heart. Um, my heart is open. Yeah. Um, my second trait, I'd say my confidence, because I'm me no matter what. Um, and I say I'm kind. That's, that's nice. That's dope. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go over here. Your None of them better say they got a good sense of humor. My name is Shannon Marie, and I'm 29. And my three traits would be that I'm really responsible. Yeah. I am a hustler. Wow. I've been working that's for myself for four years. And um, I'm really goofy. <laughs> no, no, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're a liar. No, you're not. Because when he says she got the Cam Newton hat on, you didn't laugh. You got offended. You're not goofy. Shut the freak up. A beautiful thing. What's your sign? I'm an Aries. No. The Zodiac people are taking over the earth. Me too. Oh, what's your birthday? <laughs> April 9th. Okay, April 12th. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to our next lady. Your name, how old you are, and your three traits. My name is Jessica, I'm 31. Um, I am funny, determined, and I like to lead with ethics and morals. That's real. I like that. That was straight. Oh, okay. Like so off those responses, D'Angelo, I'm going to have you pop someone's balloon. Um, Let me just back up. Oh. Dang. Have you pop? Then we'll still go. Um. Okay. And why'd you end up popping her balloon? I mean, I, lo I love your answer. Um, I, the attraction is there. I just, I don't, I don't like the, the nose. The, I, I don't get that. I don't, I don't know. I'm, it's your preference, but it's just me. I don't really do the piercings is like, from Thank the you. Nose. I would rather somebody you know, like piercings. Right. Okay. So right. appreciate that. Right. <laughs> right. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go see why these. Oh. Because I got it too. I know, but I was giving you an exception. Oh. Why was she getting an exception? 
don't know, just something about her. It's just, she glowing. She's glowing to me. Oh, like oh thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back for you. Let's go see why these ladies ended up popping. <laughs> All right, so why we end up popping? He said he didn't like the nose rings. I was like, dang. I mean, don't get me wrong, I had the one you had, I had one too, but yeah. just the, I don't. It's oh, just, the septum? Mind me of the rhinos and all yeah. that. You, you, you like the, the bulls and stuff. Yeah. I, I don't, you I just should have specified. Like, I, I would have kept bad. my. I'm sorry, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, it's okay. Yeah. All right, and Jessica, why did you end up popping? Um, I seen the way your face lit up when you spoke to her. So I knew you had an interest. Mm -hmm. And then, but it kind of switched because you was down there flirting real heavy, sir. So I could tell, yeah. you can just kind of tell. Yeah. So yeah, I, I just definitely. want you to be where you would prefer. Okay. Okay. No, no, I, I get it. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Talk to me. Ain't nobody winning in this situation. Ain't nobody winning. You're beautiful, though. You're beautiful. Shake hands. All right. Let's go down to our unpopped bill. Is this the worst episode you've watched? Or is this just the episode that you kind of like, I'm, I'm over it? Be real. This is the least entertaining episode that I've watched, but, you know. Okay. I okay. ain't, you know. Balloon. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm going to have you come up over here. All right. So did you have any questions for Jay Angelo before you say if this is a yes for you? Yes. I'm going to just return your question. What are your three traits? Um, loving. Uh, caring, a uh, provider. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right. Did you have one final question for her to go ahead and um, narrow this down for y'all? Uh, do you, are you heavily on uh, social media, TikTok or anything, or like things like that? Is I that am, but for the right reasons. Uh, explain. explain which I'm one. a wellness coach. I have a business. Wellness coach. Like, is that something you say you wake up out in the morning? You go straight to your phone? Is that something that you do? No. Okay, all right. That's okay. a good question. Well, all right. So is it a yes for you to him? Yes. And is it a yes for you for her? Yes. Ah, oh, we got a man. We got one. We got one. <laughs> and it was the warehouse guy, by the way. Warehouse dudes, you up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to have you go ahead. Hey, warehouse dudes, we 2-0. Oh. <laughs> we up. NBA players, y'all suck. Lawyers, y'all suck. Um... Funny people, you suck. <laughs> what else? Entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, you suck. Mechanics, you suck. Electricians, you suck. Uh, models, you suck. Doctors. Doctors, you suck. Because the real, the real man is the is the warehouse man, the the nine to five man. That is that is who the world wants. It ain't nine to five no more. It's six to six. <laughs> six to six. No, nah, but realistically. Every dude that that has came on this show, besides like the doctor dude, has 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 been a, a man that I I don't think they're gonna have a problem finding somebody in the next year or so. The doctor ain't gonna have no hard time finding somebody either, just based off of looks. But when he opened his mouth, well, you know, we're not gonna get on him because he was a thirty eight year old man and he chose a twenty year old woman. So I don't I don't got much to say about yeah, cause that. Yeah, because his cousin got picked by a woman around the same age. And so he didn't want to be at the cookout like, oh yeah, this was the girl that you could have had, but I got it. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But hey, that's one. We got one successful. And have you guys go on off? Yeah, I'll take yeah. this mic. Thank you. Thank you. They make some noise for them. <laughs> ah, they're so cute. <laughs> Okay, our next single man, please come on out. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Trayvon Trotter. Trayvon, how old are you? I'm 26 years old. 26? Yeah. Oh, did you just turn 26? Uh, you... September. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I turned 27 in September. Yeah. All right, saw a little hesitation. Just, <laughs> yeah, just, just a little bit. My bad, yeah. <laughs> All right, and what do you do? <sighs> I'm a student aide at a high school, but my career is acting. I have a movie out right now, actually. Okay, nice. Okay, and what do you look for in a woman? Really what I look for? Actors, you suck. <laughs> Before, I'll be honest with you, it's more of just kind of like, if you can vibe with me and I can vibe with you, no negativity, positivity. Okay. And just a real cool, just like vibe. And I say vibe, like we could do whatever. We could eat, we can watch a movie, we can we can go to Dave and Buster's, we can get active. Whatever you want to do, I'm cool with it. Okay, all right. So we did get a couple of popped balloons. Let's okay. go over to some of these ladies no, and see what's definitely. going on. All right, if we can have your name and how old you are. 
My name is Fiana, and I'm 34. Okay, cool. And Fiana, why'd you pop your balloon? Um, definitely the age. Uh, yes. I just don't think that will is vibe like, well at all. <laughs> is it like the I'm a baby type? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, baby yeah. face too. I, I mean, you're I handsome know. though. I had a beard. I cut it off. Appreciate <laughs> you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And now is Fiona your type? She fine. I'm not gonna lie to you. I know this is showing everything. You are fine. <laughs> Thank um, you. She is my type for sure. But I mean, she popped the balloon. It's all good. I'm not tripping. But yeah, you. Thank you. you. Yeah, for sure. You got a nice look. Yeah. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. Let's go over to our next lady. <laughs> what you? Well, no, what was you about to say? Yeah, let's say, don't say too much now. 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 Don't say too you okay. you seem like a cool homegirl, so I, I I mess with it. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, okay. you okay? Ooh. I'm a lady. Oh. Okay. I'm a lady. <laughs> what does that mean? Obviously, obviously you're a woman. What does that mean? What does that mean? Women don't shake hands, even though it's you can't a, be a homegirl. You can't be a friend. But she shook. But she shook. Uh. The other dude from Cleveland, she shook his hand. I think, I think she did. Because they were like, oh, I'm from Cleveland. And she's like, oh, that's what's up. And she shook his hand. I, I either, either way, man. Oh, whatever, bro. I'm a lady. People can't just shake your hand nowadays, bro. Men, that's another thing we're not allowed to do. We're not allowed to shake hands. Okay, I got you. All right. And now, is Jessica your type? She is. She's attractive. Um... Dang, I really, now I gotta really think about this. I, if I saw her out in public, I would say I would say something, but I don't know if I'd be together with her. You mm. know. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. No, for Let's sure. go over here. Uh, your name? How old you are? I'm Taylor. I'm 28. And why did you end up popping your balloon, Taylor? Um, is like just the fidgety. You seem very like you gotta hone it in, bring it together. You can't be nervous. You're walking in a room where women are popping on you if they don't like how you look. You can't be nervous. Everybody's going to be nervous. Like, mm -hmm. that's that's literally nerves. Right. Tell them. That's going to be... That's... All right, Luann. You better... <laughs> it's just... I don't know why people think that people are supposed to have nerves of steel through everything. Like, we got nerves just sitting here trying to record this video. Cause like we're not comfortable talking in front of people or on cameras. So I, I just imagine if I had to walk into a room where it's like basically tender in person. And if people think I'm ugly, they can pop a balloon in my face and I got to sit there and hold that. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm going to be coming out there. Like I'm giving a presentation in a classroom. It's nerves. Like it's, it's, and it's now natural. we're getting, and now we're getting popped on it. Like you're getting popped. If you, you, you got nerves. Like it's just, you can't win with this show. Like you can't win. Like, stand yeah. because I everybody deals with nerves. But mm -hmm. um, also, just how you mentioned, like the vibe. I feel yeah. like again, I can just kind of tell that we just wouldn't have chemistry. That's okay with me. You cool. Mm -hmm. You cool people. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I was Taylor your type. Nah. Okay. Why nah. not? Uh, the hat really throw me off. The Willy Wonka thing. I don't really like it like that. Um, I like the no 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 me I like the dress the two that showing okay, right here. Okay, well that's the nice. back of your head is ridiculous, sir. Yeah. <gasps> the back of your head is ridiculous. What's your name, Yvonne? What's your French <laughs> name, Yvonne? <laughs> Mala croissant. Mala My croissant. cheese. Mala croissant. <laughs> the back of your head is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you stop at this friend? Because, like, because that you know what that's my that's look look. There's there's a lot of reactions. This is a this is actually a good freeze frame of that response. You got him going, oh, who's she talking? And then you got her looking at it like, mm, is his head effed up? And then you got the homegirl in the back like, ooh. 
But my thing is, you willing to get you got personal because he don't like your hat. He get he well, it it does get Willy Wonka because if you try to say like this is the same hat that Cam Newton like the fedora style, that was offensive. It like it do look like a Willy Wonka hat because. I said it earlier when Cam Newton had the hat on. I said, "What in the Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory?" It do give that type of vibe, but yeah, bro, she she now now is that petty? Because a lot of y'all in the comments were saying like, "Oh, you know, we don't understand what tit for tat and petty is." I think that was petty. I like. I don't think when he said it. When he said it, sometimes people say things when they're nervous. Sometimes they say say things that are on their mind that they try to like swipe away and like no nah, don't say that out loud but they end up saying it out loud. I don't think he meant it in that he way. He said like, what everybody else was thinking. Yeah. Though. Well, we don't know what everybody else was thinking, but you know, he just um. It's kind of flat. I mean, when you're talking it, about hats, uh, you need I, I, a hat. I'll be honest with you, it's flat. You feel what I'm saying, but. I don't really care about the back of my head. I care about the front, but it's all good. Hey, I, mean, I appreciate you. I, I appreciate people. You didn't have to come for me. Willy Wonka is pretty sweet. So. I love Willy Wonka. It's actually one of my favorite movies. I just didn't like the hat. That's all it is. Okay. But I fucks with you. You cool people. All right, bye-bye. Okay. Damn. Later, Tay-Tay. <laughs> <laughs> over here. She teed up over a hat. You gonna be lonely with your hat. Over a hat? That's the battle you pick? Like, you slide for your hat? Talk about my hat like nah, nah, he, how dare he? Now you can say you don't like my hair, and you can say you don't like my shape. But the second you talk about my hat, <laughs> it's <laughs> oh. you, you ain't got a hat. <laughs> hey, shout out James Gore for the subscription. <laughs> is, the, is that the? <laughs> so you just go rock? You just go rock hats? <laughs> is that your thing now? You rocking the, the Cam Noon hat? Bye-bye. <laughs> you, you, you got the Willy Wonka on? Back your head is ridiculous. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hat. Bye. <laughs> All right, if we can have your name and how old you are. Sorry, I thought how old it is. Yeah, it is what it is. It's all good. Honestly, this is new to me. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, your name and how old you are. This is really I'm happening. sorry. This is really happening. My name is Joe Said. I'm 29. Okay. <laughs> I'm Joe Oh, man. All right, if we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Joe Said, and I'm 29. Okay, and Joe Said, why'd you end up popping your balloon? Age was the first thing. Um, you're very attractive. Appreciate you. Um, you. I always say that I don't have a type, but you you fit my type. Um, and then I think I, I don't know if you're nervous or if you were nervous. I'm gonna when tell you, you right out. now. I'll, I'll be honest with you. This is the first time me doing something like this. So for sure, I was a little nervous for yeah. sure. But I mean, I gotta go ahead and just you know hone in my like. I gotta put it together. Okay. And I'm gonna put it together. Believe me. Okay. Believe me. This is just the first section. That's we all good. it was. It was like yeah. it was it was. The fidgety, like, yeah. but I, I knew it was because you're nervous, but I just feel like maybe my, what I'm looking for is maybe someone who, because I'm a nervous person, someone who can level me out. You got nerves? Delete them. <laughs> you got them? You got nerves? Delete them. Right, just delete them. Is that Sheriff? You Sheriff now? You got to do it. Do it. Listen, you ain't going to tell me how to rock my hat. You're such a fool. I see. No, no, no. That like makes sense. Us yeah. together, we would probably. I'm not both. normally. I'm my bad. I didn't mean to interrupt. You. I'm not normally nervous. This is. I, I'm not shy to the camera. So obviously, mm -hmm. I can look at it and everything. And hey, how you doing? But like this, I've never done this. But this right. is actually a so real cool unfamiliar. experience. But it is unfamiliar for okay. sure. Yeah. But I'm. I have a movie out, so I'm familiar with the camera. By the way. Yes. All right. And now is Josette your type? She's cute. She's cute. My type. Cute. No. Oh, no, no, no. I, I like really cute women. My yeah. bad. I, I don't always use the word fine. That's just me. Because oh, not everybody's fine. You see what I'm saying? You got to respect everybody. Mm -hmm. You got to kind of come at everybody okay. a certain way. You got to mm -hmm. be respectful to yourself and you got to be honest with yourself. If you got to be honest with yourself, why would you 
You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just me, though. Okay. I really dropped jams. I'm sorry. But no, you are cute, though. You are cute. All right, thank you. She, Why is cute? Why is she cute? She seems like a real cool, like, I got, a lot of home, I got a lot of female friends. You seem like a lot of, like, a real cool homegirl. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you. All right, let's go back over here. Adios, Pop. If we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Nucci. I'm 25. Okay, and Nucci, why'd you end up popping your balloon? You're very handsome. I feel like you have a little bit of an arrogance to you, and, like, I feel like if we... Y'all just got on him for being nervous and fidgety, and then now he's arrogant. Do I not understand what the word arrogant means? Isn't that prideful? Huh? <laughs> Exaggerating or disposed to exaggerate one's own worth or importance often by an overbearing manner. Showing an offensive attitude of superiority. Y'all just called him nervous and fidgety. And now he's arrogant. New word of the day is arrogant. <laughs> Say it to somebody that you know. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> We would have a conversation. Mm -hmm. We would be talking about you mostly. And that's cool and all, but, you know, I just like somebody that's able to, you know, give the attention to somebody else. I uh, I'll go ahead and just uh, comment on that. The arrogance, it could come off as that. I'm very confident. I'll be dead ass with you. Where I was middle school, you wouldn't know me because I am now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm very confident in what I do, how I say it, how I speak it. Mm -hmm. And that's all it is. But I appreciate you, Nucci, for real. I understand. When I was He's in middle school, I wasn't the cutest <laughs> person either. And I have oh, confidence now. It's not so. about the cuteness. It's about just being you and being unapologetically you. I understand. That's all that is. Okay. okay. And now, is Nucci your type? She is. She definitely is my type. Um, yeah, she's definitely my type. Okay. And yeah. what makes her your type? Uh, she thick. She she look good in heels for real. For real. Um. She's slim, so she cool. I don't know why she did that, dang. But um, yeah, no, she's definitely my type. I like the range too. Yeah, I see, see, no, I finally, I'm glad somebody finally said it. Just because I have a, pre I like a certain type, don't mean if you're not that exact, that exact same. I'm not doing nothing. I'm listening. <laughs> I'm not doing nothing. I'm listening to you. Just because I say I like thick women, don't mean I have disqualified thin women or chubby women or short women or tall women it at the end of the day just because you're attracted to something don't mean that that's going to be the thing that you st you stick around with so y'all pop well he said he like thick women and i'm i'm a little slim so you know he ain't gonna like me you don't know that it's just thick My women reference is thick women i'm gonna like thick women okay <laughs> Is it gonna be cows and cow for? <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of cows outside. Okay. Okay. I'm not. I can't do rings, but I, I like the rings on her. Thank okay. you. All right. Cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's go over here. All right. If we can have your name and how old you are. Um, Shannon Marie, and I'm 29. Okay. And Shannon Marie, why did you end up popping your balloon? Because he said he liked thick. He said that's his type. So I was like, all right. I'm not even gonna <laughs> entertain it. <laughs> I am not thick. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. So, is she your type? <sighs> yes. Um, oh. You're petite. I, it's not. My thing is, I don't just like just thick. Like, that's it. Mm. You petite. I've had exes that were 4'11 twice. So, I, for sure. Mm. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Mm. I should have asked you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, so are you are you feeling him? Like he said, you're his type. I am feeling him. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you think jumped he pops the gun. Y'all jumped that the gun. Line? Can I ask a question? Go for it. Um, so how do you handle like hot topics? Like, if, let's say hey, if I have a appreciate question, appreciate you, Gordon. Kind of for the, for the, like, am I streaming, are you bro? Like, what, or what is going on? I'm gonna check it later. Hey, appreciate it you, Gordon. It depends on how close I am with you. No cap. Okay. I'm gonna keep my bubble pop. My balloon popped. Okay. Okay. And why so? Because I like open communication from the jump. 
there's nothing to hide when we first meet each other. I don't know you, and there's no judgment passed on you for whatever you've been through. Mm -hmm. So if you feel like you got to be limited on what you say to me, then that makes me a little bit uncomfortable because I'm an open book. Can I say something real quick? I thought you was talking on the tense that we were already, like, that we just started talking this the first date. You see what I'm saying? So, like, I'm not going to just answer any question off the bat because if, like, it's just a date, I'm not, we're not, both of us are not saying we're going to date each other. This is just to get to know each other. And any shorties be asking the craziest things for real. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm. They be asking. Okay, that's understandable. That's it. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Was that you? Okay. <laughs> All right, if we can have your name and how old you are. Sure, my name is Quay. I'm 31. And Quay, why'd you end up popping your balloon? Um, It just gave me, like, homeboy vibes. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we could chill, be cool. I could call him up when I needed some advice, but... Yeah. That's okay. crazy. She read me like a book for real. That's why. I, <laughs> no, I like it though for sure. Like okay. no, yeah. Right. I got a lot of homegirls and I'm the homeboy to that for real. Yeah. I see. But and I listen is... really well, so you know, like I give advice, things like that. I'm the advice. -y. Is she your type? She is. Yeah, I like to have for real. Yeah. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like the look, the nails, the grabbers is crazy. I like those. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, no, she's definitely she's fine. Okay. All right. Well, that is all of the balloons Rabbit popped, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. Okay, I, just wanna say, oh, I just wanna say I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. <laughs> okay, our next hey. single guy, please come on out. <laughs> Hello, welcome in. This What's is your, your last name? Name? James. What was that? James. James, how old are you? Uh, 30. 30? And yeah. James, what do you do? Uh, I'm a professional beer vendor, so I travel city to city. Okay, yeah. nice. Okay, yeah. and what do you look for in a woman? Uh, she got to be intelligent, you know, she got to allow me to lead. Submissiveness, you know, is the key. Uh, it's all about to pop for that. I'm open, you know. I go with the mindset. I ain't really got too much preference. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, nice. So we did yeah. get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on That's over fine. there and see what's going on. Of course. All right, let's start right here. If we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Nucci, I'm 25. Okay, and Nucci, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, it's just the physical attraction. Um, yeah. You cute, I think the <laughs> lips is just a little dry. I, yeah, yeah if you just had a little Carmex, yeah. maybe I probably would have kept it on pop. That's but, right, um, I can dig it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, That's all right. right. And now, is yeah. Nucci your type? Uh, she cool, she cool, but uh, she's not really my type though, but she cool though, she beautiful though. I can Thank dig you. it. What makes yeah. her not your type? Um, how can I say? Uh, she cool, like, I like her a little, little decentness, but I'm the, it's the mindset for me. It's the mindset. Okay. Yeah. What about her mindset? Like, you're trying to get in deep. Uh, yeah, because you, you just talked to her for two seconds, so, you know, we got to know what's going on. It's the energy. I got to read her energy. She seems like she like, a little feistiness. Mm. I can be, but I'm very down to earth. I respect that. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thank you, K.A., for the subscription. Thank you. Even though and I'm not lying, have I haven't streamed in three months, are. but, hey, show love. Quay, I appreciate you. And, you Quay, doing, why'd you end up popping? Um, it's... I'm not live. <laughs> Hey, appreciate you, Victor, good. for the subscription um, to a channel that ain't. Really not. <laughs> I ain't done nothing with it for three months, but I appreciate you though. Okay, and what makes him not your type? Um, I don't. I, can't. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Like, you're an attractive man, but uh -huh. just it's not something that I would like approach. I guess. Okay. Or and is what in particular? Like, what's the, what's standing out that's making you say that? Like the hairline, mm. I don't know. It's something at the top. It's like filled in. I don't know. I don't know something. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Okay, all right. And now is yes. Quay your type? Uh, not really though, but but you know it's cool. She's very beautiful though. You know she's beautiful. Okay, it's all good. I yeah. You know what I'm about to ask. So what what <laughs> makes her not your type? <laughs> <laughs> uh. The shape a little bit, but other than that, you know, she's she's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's she's cool though. You know, like you know, she got a nice little shape too. But then my shape is a little different than what I like. My preference, it's just a little different, but okay. Yeah. Okay. 
We'll go ahead and take that then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if we can have your name and how old you are. Josette, and I'm 29. Okay. Right, Josette. And Josette, why'd you end up popping your balloon? Yeah. Um, I think just physical attraction. Okay. Uh, I'm not really big on hair or dread, so that's really it. I give respect that. Okay. And yeah. what about for Josette? Is she someone you'd approach? Uh, yeah, she seemed like she's soft-spoken. She seems pretty cool, but uh, yeah, she's yeah. cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Let's go over here. Your name, how old you are, and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Jessica. I'm 31, okay. and I popped it for three reasons. Okay. The first reason being, if that is too thick for you, uh. then I ain't it, baby. <laughs> okay? I can respect that. And then, yeah. two, I can tell you are, yeah. you're the type of man who you like to run your ship a certain way. And ain't nothing uh. wrong with that. I you just read think, very well. Yeah. I do. I do. Well, I so, so. Yeah. I love being submissive and mm -hmm. I love being all of these things to mm -hmm. a man. I just don't think we would blend. Mm -hmm. I can respect that. So, so that yeah. that's kind of what it boiled down to. You're not yeah. you're very you're attractive as a you know a man, but thank you. Right? Yeah, we just would mix. <laughs> I can I can understand. All right. Yes. So talking about Hunter, how do you feel about that statement? Oil and water don't mix, so if you put the two together, <laughs> they're gonna separate. <laughs> so talk and talk. It don't matter yeah, right. what you do. Right. Oil and water don't mix. Right. So it may not be for you. Profound words, Crocodile Hunter. I appreciate that. I appreciate you for coming <laughs> on for this feature. I, I I know you're a very busy person, so you know you got a lot of time out of your day to come out here and do these reactions. Yeah, um, I ain't skinning skinning no armadillos today, so <laughs> Jessica, Whatever your type? You do. Um she's she's beautiful, she's cool. Um the shape. There's nothing wrong with the shape. She's she's fine. She's fine. Uh, look kind of like my auntie though. She's kind of like auntie. Okay. No disrespect, but no disrespect. My auntie's very beautiful. You know. Show no me your auntie. Huh? Show me your auntie when we done. I will. Most definitely will. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go into our next <laughs> lady. <laughs> if we can have your name and how old you are. I'm Kayla. I'm 31. Hey, bro. <laughs> 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 A whole episode later. And, and she, she still, still get, like she still auntie. like somebody auntie. It, she do, but you know, that's not that's not a bad look. Like a lot of people got aunts that look like that. My auntie don't look like that. My auntie Nene has that same build. My auntie don't even look. My aunties, my aunties don't even look their age. They're in their forties nah, and fifties, and they but, look like they're twenty. When I think of an aunt, I don't think of an old lady. I, I don't think, think of, of an old lady either. But I think of a more mature woman. Yeah, a seasoned woman. Yeah, my my aunties they they seasoned, but uh. Mm. I ain't hit that okay, area yet. Okay. And Kayla, why'd you end up popping your balloon? Um, the hair. Okay. Yeah. Could I ask you a question? Of course. Are you under the influence of something? Yeah, of course. I'm medicated. Okay. Yes. Is that I a problem? Tell. It's not a problem. I okay. can tell. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. I think that's kind of like. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was another understand. reason why you popped. Yeah. Well, like when he came out, he seemed kind of like. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I can and another reason I popped, but. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you I said his see. hair. What about his hair? Huh. Um, yeah, I don't like. Are they dreads? Locks, or Locks. whatever you prefer to call okay. them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, that's not really my preference. Okay. I can respect yeah. that. Yeah. Right. See, but if you were to tie them back, you, you would look like you would look crispy. Um, not my preference, but she's very beautiful though. Okay. Yeah. And what makes her not your preference? Um, just the attire a little bit, like uh, the shoes just threw me off just a little bit. But other than that, I like her smile though. Okay. She's very humble and they're soft spoken. Yes, I like that. She wearing a chucks? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Let's go over here. <laughs> we can have your name and how old you are. Yeah. I'm Willy Wonka and I'm 28. You petty, petty child. He, it's a different dude. Let it go. Let it. Go. It's a different guy. Like you, you gonna beef with all of the males in society because one dude said you look like Willy Wonka. Like, and then, 
And then he didn't pop you. You popped yourself. So it's like you're taking your aggression out on the wrong dude. Let it go. Crocodile Hunter, how do you feel about that statement? It's hard out here, man. <laughs> don't nobody appreciate don't nobody appreciate the hat. Don't nobody appreciate the fit. Don't nobody appreciate nothing. Right, Crocodile Hunter. It's, it's, it's hard out here. It's hard out here, right? And the fact that you calling me a Crocodile Hunter and I'm clearly going for the Willy Wonka look is offensive. <laughs> Why you got a southern drawl then? What, you talking like an Australian? Because you that's what you put me in. That's the category you put me in, so I gotta stick with it. I gotta stick with it. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I gotta stick with it. You called me crocodile hunter when I was clearly giving Willy Wonka. How does Willy Wonka sound? Okay, boys and girls, so we're gonna uh, What Willy Wonka did you walk? <laughs> what um, Willy Wonka was that? Um I don't know, bro. <laughs> Willie Wonka was tooty fruity, so I'm mm. Taylor. Hey, man. And I'm <laughs> Taylor. How you doing, Taylor? Yeah. I'm having a good time. That's <laughs> yes. right. That's right. That's yeah. right. All right. And Taylor, why'd you end up popping your balloon? Um, just preference. Um, and I just feel like your style has a lot to do with your personality. Nothing against your personality. I just like the hobbies. Mm. Um, and I, I can smell. I can smell the ganja. Of course. You know, and I love ganja, it. but yes, it's just like, yes. I don't think I could keep up. I understand. You know? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm a paranoia ganja smoker after That's a point. all good, right? Yeah. How about just sure. don't smoke? Right. And how are you feeling how about Taylor? That? Uh, she's not really my type. Okay. Yeah. In what way? Uh, I like the locks, though. <laughs> yeah. uh, the hat just threw me off. Other than that, okay. yeah. It's the hat, for sure. But I tell you, yeah. it's hard out here being, Taylor, that being Willy you Wonka. Today, girl. You, just, you ain't even been rocking the hat for 30 minutes, and you think you just incorporated it into the hat lifestyle? Yeah, because I got that same hat, but I I can't fit it on my head because my braids, so. You a hat. You a, you a pro hatter. You want me to go get the other one? No, I don't want you to get nothing. <laughs> Does my hat offend you? No, bro, you're good. <laughs> like you're You're straight. <laughs> Why is it sitting so high? <laughs> I just told you it don't fit on my head, man. <laughs> it don't fit on my head. My braids is preventing me from, from being thuggalicious the way that I want to. Okay? Sheesh. Sheesh. Ain't nobody asks why your, why your hair fall like that. That's the way it want to lay. Sheesh. <laughs> You're such an idiot. You don't bro. respect my thug. You freaking stupid. Don't respect it. Oh god. You're such an idiot, bro. Maybe I should maybe I should do the Neo. Lean it to the side. Don't get closer though. Girl? I mean it's it's nice to get the male perspective though. Yes, like yes. um it's I appreciate your honesty. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. you can do. Let's go back over here. <laughs> oh, did I get everybody back here? Oh, we got two balloons left. Let's, That's what's up. That's what's up. Let me have you come on over here. So, did you have a question to go ahead and ask these ladies to help you narrow it down? Uh, yes. Uh, anybody have any kids? That's what's no up. Kids. That's what's okay. up. Uh, what's you guys' are signs? What oh, the? your name, how old you are, and then what's your sign? Yeah. Um, my he's, name is Fiona, weed. I'm 34, be and my zodiac sign is Cancer. Cancer, okay, okay. And what's your sign? I'm an Aquarius. Okay. Yeah, so I'm laid back. Don't you... I'm so sick of y'all and these dog on zodiac signs. If I had a dollar for every person that popped for a zodiac sign, I wouldn't even have to work. I wouldn't have to work. It's... I wouldn't have to work. So you liked him all the way up until this point, but because he's an Aquarius. Yeah, both water signs. Water nation. It's not like he an earthbender and you a waterbender. Y'all are both earth signs, water signs, whatever the hell y'all say just, it is. I just feel like you're, you're, <laughs> you're a southern waterbender and I'm a northern waterbender. And so we can't bend together. We just can't flow together. <laughs> a crustacean and water they go together a crab and water oh, that's 90 percent they go together she really she really held her balloon that long just to pop because of a sign even the host is like what the freak is going on bro 
That's all love. That's all love. Look, no, no, you saw that look? No. Yeah. <laughs> look, look at the host. Right back. That's all love. Look at the host. <laughs> look at the host. <laughs> look at the host, bro. She like, are you dead serious? <laughs> like, are you serious, bro? <laughs> she wanted to say, she wanted to react, but she caught herself, bro. The host, I'm on to you. I'm on to you, bro. Arlette is funny. Arlette is funny, bro. I'm on to you. All love, it's all love. Appreciate it. <laughs> what, what, what you got to get to us, Aquarius? Um, I've just had a little Aquarius situations in my past, and mm. um, Aquarius hold in things a lot. Mm. I feel you become secretive, and I'm mm. pretty open. I want somebody to be open with me. I can respect that. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. And now, um, is Fiona your type? Oh, yeah. She's, she's very beautiful. Uh, she's Thank cool. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go on over here to our unpopped balloon. <laughs> and if yeah. he did ask, what's your sign? So we'll have your name and how old you are as well. I'm Shannon Marie and I'm 29. 29. And what's your sign? sign? I'm an Aries. Aries, okay. Mm -hmm. Fire. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can dig it. Did you have any questions that, that you want to go sign? ahead and ask him? I don't know, bro. I don't care. Yeah. just um, stupid How things. do you eat and are you into working out? Of course. Uh, yeah, I'm very athletic. You know, I play sports my whole life. You know, football, soccer, baseball, the whole shit. Um, so, work out a lot. My job consists of me working out, you know. So, uh, so what do I eat? I love to cook. You know, I'm a guy that cooks for the whole family, the oldest out of seven. You know, so, provider, you know. So, uh, I'm open. I have uh, open taste buds for everything. Mm -hmm. It depends, you know. You, do you know how to cook? I'm vegan, so I only cook vegan meals. I can dig it. I can, uh, oh, shit, okay. I can transition, you know. <laughs> I gave up pork, so I can do, I can do so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And now, is him not being vegan a problem for you? No, that's not a problem. I just uh, really care about fitness and health. So as long as he eats healthy and he works out often, that's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Let me go ahead and just bring you on out here. Let's go up here. Let's go up here. Can we get a two? Can can so women make it two? So, do you have a final question five? to determine if it's going to be a yes for both of you? I do. Um, how do you deal with hot topics? Like, let's say if I have a question that's kind of hard for you to answer, mm -hmm. how do you handle that? I take I take a second to think. You know, so I sit back and I think and I really evaluate your question. Okay. Yes. I do have another question. Uh -huh. Um, so how do you deal with a woman when she's really upset? Are you more empathetic to her emotions or are you dismissive? Huh. I feel like it's a time and place for everything, right? So it's a little bit of both, you know. I'm more attentive, you know, of course, to your emotions, you know, but I feel like it's a time where you're going to need your space, you know, and that will prevent a lot of things. And then that time when you do give a person space, do you communicate that, or do you have to just physically remove yourself before you communicate? I would love to communicate that. I feel like a lot of a line of communication is very important. So is that what you do, or you would love to? That's what I do. Okay. I like the clarity. Okay. So, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Any questions for you? Uh, do you like to travel? I do. That's what's up. Where have you been? I've only been to Miami, okay. and I have been to Rocky Point. I just got my passport last month. That was going to so be my next question. That <laughs> is um, on the list to go more places. That's what's up. Okay. I can dig it. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So my final question, is uh -huh. it going to be a yes for you, for him? I'd like to get to know him. Okay. And now is it a yes for you, for her? Of course. I would love to get to we know him. We got a match. Okay. Let's go. All right. I'll have you guys go on off. I'll take this mic. Thank you for coming on. Let's give it up for them. So I noticed that the ones who got matches are not the like the super suave, sophisticated mm -hmm. men. It's more of the the down to earth, grizzled men. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Beggars can't be choosers. All right. So profound words. If you like what you like, then mm -hmm. go ahead. If you don't, then I would have to tell you. You, you checked out so far from this episode. Because it's like, what else am I supposed to... The most entertaining thing out of this whole episode was the Willy Wonka. <laughs> it was the hat. So it's just like, y'all not y'all not giving us nothing to work with. <laughs> y'all not giving us nothing. 
Dang. Hey, this highlight version is going to be pretty short, bro. The highlight probably going to be like 20 minutes, bro. But it is what it is. It's like, I don't I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to, uh, it was a lot of good contestants. And a lot of those contestants walked away because of Zodiac, woman. Because of Zodiac signs. Y'all going to learn. The Zodiac signs took out more men than anything else. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you for tuning in on this episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. If you'd like to be featured on any of our upcoming videos, go ahead and send an email to the email address that's in our description box. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you all next time. Woo! Uh, this episode was more cringy than anything. Just because it's just like... Y'all, a lot, like, two of the guys, the girl, the girl in the orange was like, oh, I'm really, I'm feeling him. And then she popped just because of a Zodiac sign. And it's like, well, this is what Zodiac signs get you. A whole bunch of single women that don't got men because y'all believe that the stars dictate who y'all gonna date, even though there's 7 billion people on the planet. I don't like your aura. <laughs> not feeling it. All right, man. You're such an idiot, bro. I right, bro. I'm not feeling it whatsoever. <laughs> uh -uh. Bye bye. So, uh, <laughs> you gonna, you gonna boo me up? Okay. Hey, man. So, this is episode five of Arlitz Pop the Balloon. I'm here with, I'm, well, who are you now? Anyway, so. <laughs> I'm here, with my, I'm here with my lovely wife. It's just Alex. Hey, thank you guys for watching the content. Thank you for su the subbing and all that. Um, I appreciate y'all. Y'all y'all keep safe. Uh, if y'all have anything y'all want us to watch, let us know in the comments. Plus, let us know how you guys felt about the thing. Every comment is something, even if it's a bad comment. You know, we and learn we've from We've seen the bad comments. Yeah. Y'all seen... better stop crying. <laughs> all right, y'all. Safety.